Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Betty a True Dad, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Not THE Outer Wilds, as I do routinely want to call it, because, because of the Outer Wilds, and also because I like putting a THE in front of things. Because like THE, <clears throat> John. <clears throat> exactly. It just definite articles are the best articles. <laughs> Alright, indefinite articles can get the cock out. They are not welcome in my home. But definite articles, they're brilliant. Like, an outer wild. Well, that's boring as anything, isn't it? And, and you can't say an outer wilds. It's only singular. What do you do if you need a plural and definite article, Claire? Then you Riddle don't put me. it in front of it, which is what's happening here. If this was a definite article situation, it would be the outer wilds. But it's not I'm just it's saying, indefinite. I'm just saying, I'm definite, just saying. Yes, better, because you can say the outer wild or the outer wilds. What if I want to say an outer wilds, Claire? You're already doing that by just having Outer Wilds. <laughs> yeah, that's what you... Okay, so basically what you're saying is the indefinite article can't be asked to show up, basically. It's the lazy article. All right, it could go... This is... Okay, this this is this has gone off. This has gone off a little bit. <laughs> off, off, off already. Welcome! Oh, Welcome God. to Outer Wilds. Uh, which is, yes, a oh, game God, of... But, which is like, which is like sci-fi Majora's Mask. It's like Majora's Mask, but you're a spaceship. That's, that's, you know, I have some music. We can have some music while we're doing this. Hang on. There we go. That's quite loud. Hang on. No. Maybe that's quite loud. Uh, let me know. The good that looks a bit loud. You're a bit loud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just slide it and try that again. Try that again. Try that again. Hopefully that's a bit better. Okay, I want you to know the best, I did the best thing today. I did the best thing, which is, well, Claire. Oh, fuck, that was <laughs> awful. Fuck you. Tonight's video might be a certain goose-themed game, and I may have, while Claire was actually working on the thumbnail for it, I may have snuck up behind her and yelled, HONK! It was fucking terrifying. <laughs> I jumped out of my skin, because he's a bloody troll. So that's, that's, that's where we were. That's, that's where we were today. That was brilliant. Tabby was totally not fussed. Tabby doesn't mind Tabby you honking. Tabby was fussed when... We both laughed hysterically for a solid five minutes after. Mm-hmm. Tabby, Tabby's fine. She understands I occasionally make honking noises. That's perfectly normal. So, let's, let's dive in, shall we? <clears throat> let's, let's flip and dive in. Oh, did anyone say anything about audio? No, they're just talking about the goose game and you being a troll. Yeah, that's fine. Well, tsh Yay, goose again. Uh, okay, let's let's see what we if this works. Okay, so this this should work. Okay, that's that's the thing, and now it's moving, and now you've got audio, and that should be what we're actually doing. So let's let's just resume the expedition because yeah, it's the same it's the same expedition as we've been on last time. So uh, yeah, we should be basically like, no, basically like <clears throat> because everything resets. All it really means is I know things. Like I don't know whether there's. Presumably there's no changes to the actual universe. Claire, did you edit this? Or did you, do you have any idea what's going on right now? I think I did a... Um, I think I did a check for... Ah, frames. frames. You did some form of frame check. You remember this then? This is yeah, the... a bit. Mm -hmm. Wait, yes, no, no of course you did, did. Because you, you added the Majora's Mask sound into ah, it. Ah, yes, I did. <clears throat> yes, Basically, did. if there's ever fancy editing work, you know Claire did it. Because <laughs> I, 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 just, I just give it to Claire instead. He just gives it to me and says, can you find this very specific sound? What do you say very specific sound? Like, this was a Zelda, one of only two Zelda games on the N64. It's not no, that... I meant when you put in the, um, you put in the star noise from Mario at some point in something. That's even out. more famous than Majora's it's Mask. It's more famous, the ba -la -ba -ba -da -ba. there was we a bunch of different mm -hmm. possibilities of it that I had to go through and be like, is it this one? Is it that one? Is it this other thing? Uh -huh. Because a lot of them had like various, like more than just a one sound. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yes. Oh, what I'm going to do is like, uh, okay, just, just as a reminder, what we did during the video, I visited the hourglass tent, which is a, kind of what I understood conceptually that they were twins. It didn't realize, of course, like literally hourglass because it's literally sand pouring from one to the other. And then when, when the hourglass runs dry, that's literally time is up for the universe, which I, I kind of didn't spot specifically. That's cool. We went up to the north of Timber Half and found, yeah, kind of like a, a weird wormhole to Dark Brown, which we haven't been to yet. Athel Rock we went to visit, but there wasn't a huge amount going on there. Uh, Brittle Hollow we visited briefly. Hollow's Lantern we haven't been to yet. Brittle Hollow was where there was the black holes, I think. 
Giant's Deep apparently has a moon that's not named, that we didn't go to. And yeah, that ship there is the ship that gets exploded by the interloper when you wake up for the first time. And then there's Dark Bramble, which I haven't been to yet. So there's a few things to go to. But yeah, the thing about this game is it feels deceptively small because like you can go to so much of it so quickly. Yet I assume there's, you know, quite a lot going on here. So yes, basically in about 20 minutes time, the sun, which is that thing over there, is going to explode. Uh, specifically, like, when the Hourglass Twins, like, run out of sand, when the sand gets transferred from the south one to the north one, which isn't how space works, but, you know, south and north, according to, like, this chart that we got out of a cereal packet. So, um, then the sun explodes, then time resets. So, everything resets back to zero, and the only thing that you learn is stuff that you know, though I think, actually, the, the ship, yeah, the ship's log gets reset, like, um, as it doesn't get reset, like, it remembers, like, because I assume you, like, re- Like, it's- I don't know, it's tied to your brain or something. So your ship's log is the only thing that stays, like, as it should be. So I'm just going to buckle up, go into my lift-off camera, and just going to go, Wee, goodbye, planet! And I think I'm- the one planet I haven't been to yet is the big ocean one. Am I out- I assume I'm out of the- Just check I'm not falling back to Earth right now. I don't appear to be- ooh, there's- There's something over there. Uh, just, just, just turn, turn, turn. Oh, that'll be the interloper over there. So, okay, yeah, I don't want to get to that. I want to I wanna look for the big ocean planet, which is you. Right. And as some people have pointed out, yeah, I can, I can match velocity with them. Don't, no, don't match velocity with the sun. It's a terrible idea. Uh, let's just basically go over in this direction. So we're catching up with, yes, Giant's Deep, which has... Ah, yes, it's got the spaceship around it. So I might see if I can actually go and land on that spaceship. That's like right at the beginning of the game. Like that gets destroyed by the interloper. Because that seems important. Because literally you see it when you wake up. And I'm, I'm going a bit faster and I'm going a bit faster. 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 I might be about to overshoot Giant's Deep a little bit. That's that's fine. That's fine. Oh okay. my goodness. Um, yes. Uh, shout out to uh, Togaman5000 who gave us $200. 200 Yes. Wow. Okay. Thank you so, so much Togaman. Uh, given how much of your content I consume, this only seems fair. This seems very generous to It us. seems very generous, yes. Keep up the good work, John and- Your John and Claire combined talent can never be overstated. Sweet. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Especially to Claire. Like, it, it's, it's about a fair amount of kind to me. To Claire, that might have been a bit much. Right, now slow down. I'm, ow! Now match its speed. Okay, so now we're, we're approaching it pretty slowly. So where's the- Where's the thing? Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Three kilometers out. So I assume it's got gravity. So, okay, we're still approaching it. Let's just start working around it. There it is. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so now it's, now it's falling back. So now if I go down over here... I need to lock onto this thing, really. I need to lock onto... There it is. Okay, so now... Okay, now go down to... Go down to... Down to... Down to... There we go. This, this, is, this is the thing. On a, yeah, lock onto this. Yes. Okay. Match. Uh oh. I'm gonna. I might be about to crash into the planet. Mind. Okay. Go. And I know there's an autopilot, but that's for losers. I don't use the autopilot. So we're gonna. We're gonna try and get close to this. I'm, I'm willing to use match velocity. <laughs> there we go. Togaman in chat says, "I'm just catching up. Uh, just so you know, $190 of that was for Claire." Boo. Boo. I mean. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. But apparently it's Claire that should be giving you most of the thanks. Okay. Match velocity and now go up and... I feel like the planet's like a bit aggressively... Okay. Keep uh -huh. matching velocity. Okay. I need to... What I need to do is I need to match velocity. Okay. Now I need to... I need to get... No. Match... Match velocity again. Right. I need to... I need to get out to this thing in a hurry. I need to remember to put my space suit on because space... Yeah. And uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay. The problem is, it's. I think it's rotating, so you can't just do a steady, a steady rotation. Okay. If I'm if I'm above it, this should be pretty safe. Okay. I need to I need to lock onto it, and then if only I could like like you know. Okay. This looks about fair. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go and figure it out. And, uh, okay. Now I just need to. Okay. Well, I've landed on it. I've sort of. Can I land on this? Okay. There's. There was, there was a blue swirly thing over there. We'll go and pick the ship up later. We'll go and pick the ship up later. Blue swirly thing normally means, hey, we're gonna, this is gonna suck you in. Okay, 
So this is this is the ruins of a space station that's around giant steep. All right. And now, does it have gravity? Okay, this looks very similar architecturally to, what was it called? White Station. Hello. Yep, and didn't just bring you around. Okay, little simple light puzzle. And now, okay. What's going on here? There's no gravity. Ship log has been updated. And also, oh, okay, there's, there's problems. Uh, this thing is uh, sort of rotating. The gravity in here is a little bit on the unpredictable side. Okay, check this, because this seems like this is a... Aha! Okay, untranslated writing, just... just yep, 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 just, just... Velocity matched, okay. Yep, velocity, that's the un, untranslated. And I'm trying to remember what the... I think it's a C for Cult of Claire. No, the, I can't remember... I can't remember what the translation button is. <laughs> I, I, well done. Hey, chat, what's the translation button? What's the translation button for this? I think you should be able to translate this if you just do... Equip translator. Untranslate. No, that's flight. That's flight. That's flight. Oh, launch. Launch module. Okay, got it. It's on right B. So that's launch module. Okay. And then rotate... It, too, too close to... to it, it, it. Uh, 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 there we go. There we go. Everything's fine. Control module. Well, that bit seems to have sort of fallen off. And then over here. Yeah, the whole thing seems to have suddenly collapsed. So, yeah, this is an old Nomai thing. Probe tracking. Okay, is any of this still here? That appears to have fallen off. That bit's been blasted off. This bit seems to be... Okay, that bit seems to be mostly there. Then everything else seems to have slightly... Yes, there's, a, there's only the one... The chat is uh, amusingly pointing out that it is in fact on the screen. Is it now? Fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it feels like this is... There we go. Ah, yeah, translate, hold RB. Uh, yeah, okay, so the control module is still present. That's the only bit that's still present and correct. If only the buttons were on screen right now. If only. But, you know, we, you, they're just not. <laughs> Okay, onto the control module. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, this is this is this has got to be important. Oh, hello. Okay, trees detected. Oxygen. Trees. Right, use my downward thrust to go down over here. And yes, there's. All right. So this is the control module. Little lights. Nope. Ah, you can stand either on the top or the bottom. Depending on, yeah, to maximise efficiency of space. It's kind of cool. Okay, and launch module projection stone. Okay, we should probably pick that up and shove it somewhere. Like, say, here. Okay. And now it's doing a dance. Launch module projection. Was there always wibbly stuff up there? Because I feel like it just did a wibbly blob thing. And now there's wibbly. Maybe I should translate this before I, like, you know, uh, do any of that. Uh, where's my... No, not that. Where's my... Remove that. No, don't remove... Okay. Now I've removed that. Does that do anything? No. Okay. Shove it back on because it wasn't there originally. Yes, then it does a wibbly thing. Doesn't seem to be doing much. So, ah, but there's... There's multiple different. Okay. Grab giant steep projection stone, shove it in here, and presumably, we're now going to have that. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source. The orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Orbital probe cannon. Okay, power source, orbital probe cannon. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. And then the conversation branches off. I wish I were my friend, but no. The answer and they can fix the problem. So the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Now, I think we saw that as one of the the other branches, but it was destroyed. And we can't go and see it because it happens literally at the beginning of the game. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain in the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. And that is... That's it. Okay, hang on. If I get this, I'm just shove that down there. If I pick up this, 
Does this also, by any chance, fit on here? Can I have a bit more information? Or is that the same thing? No, that's no. Mallow, my bed of 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Okay, so the probe cannon, they were looking for an eye, but they couldn't launch it. The thought of concluding our elders curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power source. We are not under any circumstance. Oh, power setting, even though we're not to go above. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? Uh, I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures. I suggest we do. And giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. And as the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can, I'll make some adjustments. Okay. Now, if any chance does that mean I can shove this one in here? And if so, what does that do? Hmm. Nothing as yet. Alright, well, that's this floor. Claire, anything interesting going on? Any people got any... Uh, I mean, I, I should point out, by the way, I'm aware, obviously, people will be able to spoil this if they want to. I'd be asking you to be, you know polite on that basis which is try to avoid giving like you know i don't mind people giving like you know suggestions or ideas or whatnot but uh try not to actively spoil if you'd be so kind okay so that this ball of light you you were gonna let me talk and then you kept talking then i didn't you're right yeah that's true okay. shout out to mr scratch who gave us 50 australian dollars good dollars and says, hey, John, my Australian weekend drinking coincided with another live stream. This $50 must be spent on tabby treats or alcohol. <gasps> tabby treats or alcohol. I'm sure we can figure a way of, of getting Yeah, one. we're going to do tabby treats, shockingly enough, because we're boring. I like mojito. I like the old mojito. Yeah, we could do that. The um, old mojito. We could definitely do that. But yeah, Tabby Tabby's treats are like kind of fancy and expensive, so we might do we might do that. We, we might spend the budget on booze for us and food for the intern. How's that? Um, and then uh, Mr. Scratch also sent us another five Australian dollars. Said, um, "Drink and be merry, John's chat." No. I will point out in Australia right now it's a lot, lot, lot later than here, obviously. Uh, yes. And uh, and yeah, if it's been a drinking weekend, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it could just be typos in his messages, but also it could be a blooming good time. It could so. be. <laughs> could be. Whichever. Also, there's 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 text on these little things that popped up. I didn't realize a minute ago. All the probe cannon damage reports severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Uh, control module intact, no structural damage. Launch module, module exposed to vacuum of space. And probe tracking module missing. Now that's just one that the, I thought it was both modules were that were this one were just gone. But possibly one of them is damaged but not entirely gone. So okay, you're about to produce in that too. Because yeah, this is clearly like a, a really cool 3D like status report. Are you about to produce some text by the way? Yeah, that's just demonstrating what happened to the ship. So that's going to presumably say uh, launch request received, probe launch successful, receiving data from probe, orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch, damage to multiple modules detected. Fine, so this ship was, they damaged it themselves through going way over the power they were supposed to because that, that was just what they were like. They were dicks. But like they were able to launch it and presumably given they're in orbit around this planet that suggests that therefore they were looking for the eye of the universe in this planet that's that makes sense so all right 13 minutes 44 seconds ago request to launch probe received from ash twin project okay so we know they had a city there we've visited the ash twin city can align with randomly selected probe trajectory gravity field activated so we got okay ship log has been updated again right that's all we've got here so i'm going to go back to the first room and then oh, it, 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 it. there we go i'm going to go back to the first room and then wait is this the way i came is it just is the airlock just closed behind me i think the airlock just closed behind me oh possibly. yes this is like an airlock so i'm just going to go back to the first room and check the other things claire while i do that 
Yeah, the chat, um, not spoilers exactly, but the chat is saying that you're using the projection stones wrong. Basically, you need to put the projection stone on the pedestal and, like, not move. If you put the stone on a square, you stay in the square. If and you, sorry, what? If you put the stone down, just, like, stay where you are, and it should actually, like, you should see something being projected. Like, there's a hologram that you're missing. Okay. And you say it's, like, wibbly. It's not wibbly. You're, like, you, there's supposed to be something there, but you're moving too much. Okay, right. Well, okay. We'll go back to that in a second. I just found this over here. So let's just quickly, yeah, retrieve my scout. And now just launch the scout through here. Because I can't fit through there, but... Okay. Rotate the camera. That looks like it's seeing... That looks like it's seeing something. Like it's actually seeing a room. Okay. So it looks like there's actually a room there. But I can't get into it. But if I was to... Maybe approach from the outside. I might be able to. Because that looks like a room like the one I was just in. Or very similar to one. Like right there. That looks comparable. But it's not the same room. So okay. We might need to go outside and loop around to that. 50% for your remaining. Okay. Back to... Uh, this was control module, right? Yes. Back to control module. Okay. Let's figure out how this works. Let's figure this out. This is this is good. This is why the chat being here is good. They can provide useful tidbits of information like that. So and the thing go. about me that's good is that I don't read out to you how pissed they are with you for not getting it straight away. Okay, so right, remove that. Now put it straight back on again and just hold still. You need to be in Ooh. the pool. Right. Okay, I'm having a wibble. Am I allowed to step out of the pool no. once? No. Okay, so don't step Spend out of the pool. the pool. So that thing wasn't. Okay. So that's a projection stone, and then it gives you a projection pool, and you're not stuff's not being projected if you are out of it. Right, but can I actually read? I can't get out my translation. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So what? Once we're in the projection pool, chat. Yeah. What? Now I'm in the pool. What's the thing about it? Why, why is it good to be... I appear to be down on the planet of Giant's Deep because that's clearly an ocean world of some description. Yeah, there's water. So I think I'm down on, presumably, I'm having a vision of something that's going on down on the surface right now. But I can't I can't read that because I can't get close enough to bring out my, my scan or anything. Within an image, I can't do anything. So, okay, if I just remove that... Okay, let's try the other one. Right, okay, I now get how those projection stones work. But bear in mind, like, part of the thing about this game is they very specifically don't... They don't tell you things. Like, you have to, have to figure it out. So, okay, new projection pool. I mean, in fairness to you, if you put stuff down and then the liquid starts to come out, like, my video game instinct is immediately, like, step out that thing. Yeah, I've, I've seen the alien films. Like, you, you don't stay there. So, okay. Ah, wait, hang on. I'm literally being created as... Okay, so Stephen... Uh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know where I am. I'm in that room I just saw that I can't get into. I'm in the other room elsewhere in this station. Yeah. And I, if I look down, I can see myself. I'm a blobby thing. I am like... Yes. Like a copy made out of goo being projected somewhere else. I'm literally being projected into a goo form of myself elsewhere on this station. Right. Speedball says the projection shows where the message was recorded. If you put it on the wall, then you can read the message. Yeah, which I, that's what I, I've already done. Yeah, those. Yeah, I've yeah. already put those up and read those. So, okay. It's useful for context. Yeah. So then just remove that. So, okay. I now understand, yeah, so you, you put it on the wall to read it, and you put it in the pool to be, basically, to have a version of yourself transferred over there. So I now need to basically go back to my ship, which is unfortunately 2.7 kilometers in that direction, so I managed to do this by hand, um, and basically go outside to loop around to the, the other room, if I can get into it from the outside, because I can't get into it from the inside. I can send my little scout in to just have a peek at it. I feel like the only way I'm going to be getting... Oh, the only way I'm getting through is... Is there a hole there by any chance? Is this... No, this has still got integrity. So I need to go... Yeah, to the... 
this is the this is the one right it it it, it no up, up 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 no the other one okay uh right let's just go oh we'll fi we'll figure it out as we we'll figure it out as we go if i actually no hang on no i'll use the i'll use my scout launcher is my scout okay my scout's already in a fixed position okay that's absolutely fine so i can use my scout launcher potentially so okay if i just nip out into space right now Nip out into space, so just put that away. I don't need that for the time being. Okay, I just need to... So this is the bit that's broken right here. Okay. So that doesn't go anywhere. That just get, takes me out into space. Now, I can see there's two bolts. There's my scout. Now, if I go over to my scout, I know that's the right area. Now, the question is, has this dome lost structural integrity? And if so, can I get in? Because my scout was blasted through this door. So now I've just got to try and find a way in, ideally. Yeah, it's... it's aha. Aha, ha, ha, ha. Oh, 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 oh. Careful, careful, careful. It looks to me like that's... Pres I think I've done something right. Okay, they can't be too angry with me. I've done something right here. And we've managed to make our way inside. Okay, ship log has been updated. We've now made it in here. So now, uh, just work my way down to the ground. Ah, there's no artificial gravity in here. Of course there's not. Thing is, what do we actually have in here that we can do anything with? Because, yeah, there's no, there's no power. So I don't have a power ball to get any readings because that was all broken. Ah, there is a tiny bit of power down over here. So this presumably is going to give me one final bit of useful data. So probe tracking module projection stone. Let's just get the context before we get the vision. Uh, so, imagine Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. And I'm honoured and terrified. I won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? <laughs> oh, we're totally well. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, who minds if it uh, compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity? And I would mind, Mallow, I would mind because you won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the tracking module is destroyed. So, okay, yep, yeah, we already know what this thing was doing. So now, presumably, this is the final vision. So, wibbly, 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 wibbly. And now I'm... Oh. Uh, hey, uh, shout out to Hans, who uh, gave us 50 euros. Thank you very, very much indeed, Hans. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and Hans says, greetings from Austria. I enjoy watching, uh, I enjoy John's content on YouTube for four years. Or I've been enjoying, rather, for four years. Keep up the good work. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. I don't recognise where I am right now, Claire. I've been projected into an area, some form of base, same architecture. Yeah. But outside, there's like purple lightning and stuff. Also, I suspect the universe is explode. Yeah, I think the universe is exploding, by the way. But we just got everything we needed to out of that station. We just got into the last room. So everything's just exploded. This is what happens, by the way. The universe explodes every so often. And after it's exploded, you have the chance to... You're just given a quick reminder of all the places you went and all the things you did. But I think we got the information we needed there, which is... We now know... One, there is one of the Nomai bases on the surface... Of, Gi of um, Giant's Deep. Because we saw it up top. Um, and there's another one somewhere else. Presumably, that's the data, that's the base they set up to observe the eye of the universe. So, uh, I would say at this point, we probably want to go check out... Yeah, we've done, this, we've done the station. We'd probably go to the moon next. Because rather than to the Giant's Deep itself, I just want to check out the moon. Because the moon seems small. Claire, that's going to take me a little bit of time to get to. Why don't you get us all caught up? Yeah, shout out to Evil John Clone 666 who gave us two dollars and says Borderlands 3 series. I don't think it's as I don't think for me it's a series sort of a thing. Uh, it's not really your thing as much. It's not. I mean, it's the thing I enjoy doing with friends and whatnot. I'd yeah. say. Uh, that does make it more difficult to set up for a series. And it makes it a lot more difficult to set up for a series. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, who knows? Uh, I, I I never say no to doing a bit more with somebody. And oh, there it is. <laughs> It's literally right there. Uh, but I, I don't have a specific time or plan in mind for it. Yeah, and a shout out to uh, Psycho Girl, who's a new channel member. Thank you very much indeed. That is actually one of the community managers and partners of uh, Final Render. 
who oh, we might there you go. who we might be who we might be having a chat with very soon indeed watch the space we might be talking about that by the end of the stream cool uh -huh. cool, cool, cool and shout out to yash uh who gave us two dollars and says happy zarklan day everybody all glory to zarklan zarklan day comes only once every 10 years i'm not convinced it's actually zarklan day today or is every day Zarklan day in our hearts? Well, every day where I edit a video where you shout out about it being Zarklan day, it's Zarklan day, so therefore today is Zarklan day. Where's the moon? There's... Oh, the oh John, did you lose the moon? Again? I've lost the cocking moon. The... What? There's... There's a moon. There must be a moon. There's... Well, officially, it should be close by to... What? Where's the... I can... I can see it on the map. Where's the moon? It's... What? I'm not mad. Where's the moon? The... Cool. Also, yeah, there's very clearly a, a very flashy, exciting bit of the planet. There's... The... Claire, I've lost the moon. This planet, okay, hang Chat, on. Where's the moon? This planet has a moon. All right, it's it's it's. <laughs> hang on, just look. There's a moon. There is a, and I saw it. I saw the moon. I literally, we looked up at the beginning of this run, and there's what? What? What's that then? What's that thing that's around Giant's Deep if it's not the moon? Oh. Yes. Well. Oh. Yes, Claire. I think you might have to figure out why you lost the moon. Right. Okay. I had the moon, then it went missing. I mean, maybe I need to keep a closer eye on it. Okay. Right, so there was... I saw a moon there and now it's gone. And there's a reason it's gone. There's some form of reason it's gone. So, all right. We'll go and we'll go and have a little look at Giant's Deep itself while we try and figure out where the cock the moon went. I mean, the interloper could have killed it. The interloper killed the spaceship in the opening thing. It could have come back around and killed the moon. It's not impossible. But it seems odd. All right, well... Hmm... <clears throat> There is a thing that I've been told that I should not tell you. Okay, so. fair enough, fair enough. There you go, there you go. Let's talk about Super Chats and not the moon that... I don't know what's going on with the moon. Shout out to Pay No Attention, who gave us five pounds. And says, hey, John and Claire and Tabby. I just moved house and I'm watching in glorious 144p because I have no Wi-Fi for 14 days. Oh no! I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe they can't tell whether they're seeing the moon or not because the quality is too shitty. It's entirely possible. Giant seed kind of got away from me there. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Now, now accelerate towards Giant's Deep, and it's starting to move in this direction. So move to intercept it. And... Oh no! I'm told that. Uh, in order to notice important information about the moon, you might have to pay really close attention, and we all know how good you are at that. Okay, fair. Whatever. <laughs> okay, this is fine. We're now approaching Giant's Deep. Begin firing backwards a little bit. Ugh, fire more aggressively. It's getting a bit big. It's getting a bit big. It's getting a bit big. Just avoid, 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 avoid. Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control now. It's a bit fast, this bloody thing. There we go. Right, now we're four, four kilometers coming up on it. Okay, this should be fine. Now, I think it's the... I think it's vaguely the north bit. Okay, maybe we just get... Okay, we're just going to get nice and close without getting too... We're, going, we're not going up too fast. We're just going to go in, and then we're just going to see what it's going to... I think it's like a gas giant something. I'm going a bit fast. I think we're about it. That's fine. It's mainly water. Oh, blimey. Uh, get... Water doesn't hurt, so it's fine. Okay, so it's got a gas gianty like exterior, and then within the gas giant bit, there's like a bunch of tornadoes, and then within that, there's a bunch of water. 
But water's soft. And there's also an island here. Okay, land seems like an excellent place to start. So we're just going to put it down nice and out. It's fine. Bit bumpy, but it, it's okay. Yeah, land is soft. Land is more or less soft. Right, well, I've got my suit on already. And oh, blimey, it's a bit on the wet side. Okay, so there's... And there's also clearly things going over there. Okay, over there appears to be where there's the flashy lights. Right. And so Luke, see this. Oh, gravity is double normal here. So I can't really... I can't really you jump or use my jetpack at all. All right, hang on. Check for uh, signatures and hello. Aha, I've found one of my friends already. One of my friends is chilling out right here. Hello, do you want to tell me? Oh, there's pistols. Let's start off by chatting to my friend. Hello over there. Talk to Gabro. Nice, uh, nice Jew. Glad to see you made it appear in one piece. First solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. <laughs> you died lately or is it just me? Yeah, it's me too. We're stuck in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Time loop makes sense. So, yeah, you're taking this pretty well. Right, I catch you. Personally, I like new experiences and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've ever been in a time loop before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. Tried radioing Hornfells and asked if they died too. They thought I was being metaphorical. If I tell Hornfels about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realise anything's different. Here's a weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from the loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone no my statue I found on one of the other islands. Could you point me towards that island? Because that seems very, very important. That's what kicked this all off, so I'd like to go and visit that. So on a different island somewhere around here. And this island, yeah, though the planet's big, like... Inside it, the water sphere isn't that big. So it can't be that difficult to find another island. Mm. Because we can, just, we can just fly around. So that should be fine. Oh my God. So no, my statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. No glowing statue, no time loop awareness. Uh, no time loop awareness. And that's going to be my leading theory. Okay. And... Okay. What do I actually... Yes, I found something. Did I find something? And I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. I did actually. Do you care about that? Uh, whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop for real. And yeah, it was too much power. They over... Well, actually, that wasn't because they were already dead. This, these are long ago ancient people. It was it was hit by the interloper. But, well, it was broken, but then he got smashed at the beginning of the time loop anyway. Uh, okay. It's kind of scary how much this sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. I'm thinking it broke might be the wrong word because it looks as though the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Is it? Maybe I've not been seeing that correctly. I always thought it was taken out by the the interloper. Maybe the interloper was just passing extremely close by. And actually, it gets destroyed by the power surge, like I'm saying here. But it always, I always assumed it was the interloper because you see it pass through. And I always assumed, okay, the interloper smashes through it. But maybe it doesn't. Okay. And anything else we need out here? I found something. Yeah, what? Tell me, give me the 101 on this planet. Uh, Giant Steep is massive, mostly water, no surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. I tried everything I could to get past that current, and neither idea, <laughs> neither idea worked, very cute. <laughs> As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue uh, I saw on the beach. So four, including this one, but there's also one. So that's just five total or four we haven't seen yet. You've seen the cyclones, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water, less likely to kill you. All right, and yeah. Any tips of where I should explore? So, here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening in there in orbit on the planet. Fine, so that's the station we've been to already. And have you been to Statue Island? And that's the island with the glowing no my statue. Get it. I was on the beach of Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that sort of thing. Solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. I like Gabbro. Gabbro's great. And if you like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Mostly connected anyway, you'll see. Alright, that's all I need from you, I'd say. So let's just check out what else is going on this island. Because yeah, he's going to have... Oh, 
Hang on. This looks like some form of... Yeah, thought so. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is full of ghost stuff. Yeah, that normally means ghost wibbles. Right, we'll be ignoring that. And just going up this way instead. And seeing just if there's anything going on on his island before we take our ship over to the next one. Assuming I don't get thrown into space by a cyclone. Which I'm guessing could happen because I assume they're just like doing a loop or whatever. Claire, all yours while I have a little loop to a loopsy roundy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to Zycoria who gave us $20 and says, heart your face. Hello, Zycoria. Ow. And also glad to see you back in the game. The game? Yeah, because it's got an indef uh, a definite article in front of it. Uh, well, it, do it doesn't. That's the point. But Zycora used a definite article in their message. Ah! Yes, there you go. You get it now. <laughs> uh, shout out to Daniel who gave us five euros and says, I haven't been interested in Stellaris until your impossible playthrough, which has been amazing. Thanks for that. Oh, well, thank you very, very much indeed. Well, we can't really relate because we both really love Stellaris, but it is a really, really fun playthrough. Indeed. Uh, and shout out to Nathaniel, who gave us $5, and says the sun doesn't go to college because it's already got a million degrees. <laughs> yeah, there you go. If you heard me snort laugh a, a, a while back, that was that. Um, anyway. Hang on, I think I found what we were looking for. Two islands connected by some form of natural rock arch, they said. And this, this, this will do. This will do. Good enough. Okay. I mean, that, that looks like a natural rock arch connecting two islands to me. Yeah. So I found the island, they said. Got plenty of fuel and water for the time being. And there's also uh, there's a wibble up. What does this do? Normally, this means... Oh, maybe this is where I was supposed to land my ship. Well, I've landed my ship nearby. <laughs> Remember where we parked? Right next to, but not actually. In fact, I should probably move the ship. Ah, screw it. I can't be bothered. I should probably move the ship onto that because otherwise a tornado will potentially throw my ship into orbit. Because I, I So you can't be bothered to move it so that you don't get blown away by a tornado. Correct. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we got one island right here. And I don't see anything else on this island. So I just need to go over to the other side where it looks like there's some form of a door. Now this is actually no. Presumably this is the. This must be the island with the. He said the island with the Nomai, the beach Nomai island. So, okay, use my jetpack to to get back out of the water over here. Okay, the problem is I think you get sucked down into the into the the sea because the gravity underwater is also strong. Well, I don't see a. I don't see a glowing Nomai head. They must be on the other island. But yeah, he said on the beach, didn't he? I said I said on the beach when I was reading out what he said, right? Yeah? I'm sorry, what? I said on the beach when I read what he said, right? Ah! No, I wasn't listening. I can't make that jump because the gravity's too strong. I need to take my ship over to the other side. Because, the, yeah, the, the jump... The gravity's too strong for me to jump over with two times gravity. Uh, actually, if I was to... Maybe I can just make it. If I, if I just kind of... If I do a permanent jump and a boost, I might just be able to make it. But it's going to be tight. And it's going to be a one-way trip. And I can just... I can just do it. Just do it. Okay, so... Give this a read. Statue workshop. But... Broken. Okay. Statue workshop seems good. And that's... That's the statue. That's the same sort of statue that talked to me on day one. But this one's not glowing. This one's on the dead side. Alright, go down to the beach. Need to go and figure out if we've got anything here. Hello, there's... Oh! Gravity. Gravity bubble. That's a... Uh, also, you forgot you have a jetpack. Yeah, I've remembered I've got a jetpack. Oh, good, okay. I remember my jetpack. Oh, I forgot, I forgot you had to hold down A and right trigger to make it work properly. Okay, so yeah, there's, there's gravity stones in this place, so... Uh, this is, this is weird. This is weird. This place is weird. I'm now walking on the side of a cliff because of gravity stones that make a wibble noise. Okay, and, well, I've made it to something good. That's a no-my, because that's not a me. 
Alright. We've made it to a town, an old town. And there's something there. Something's glowing. Alright, alright, little town. What have you got for me? Right, I'm just gonna have a bit of a looksy round the ruins. Clap! Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Age Hall who gave us 500 Swedish krona and says have some of the best kronas. Uh, we uh, and wants to know sorry if we'll uh -oh. see some new Fallout 4 play soon. Ah, uh, ah. Uh? Uh, uh, okay, I think the I think the island's in space now. By the way. Yeah, no, I can see that. But there's a purple thing here, like. Aha! This is a this is like a tornado shelter. This is where you're supposed to hide in the event of tornado. That's ah, that's what that is. That's what that. No comment. Uh, that's what that is though. About the Fallout Four thing. Yes. Yes. They're going to test the memory statue tonight. Flock said it could be dangerous, so we can't come. Uh, what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Aha! Well, the door's broken. So what's the other way? Flock specifically told us not to do that. And I really want to see the test too. Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. Probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see the test anyway. Later. Okay, so there is another way to get into the statue workshop. But it's not, it's not where we are. Okay. And yeah, it's not the door. I mean, we know it's, the door's broken. So we know there's a way other than the door. We just need to find... A different way in and yeah there's these little I assume little kind of like yeah they're like tornado shelters but seriously fancy uh, oh wow someone in chat is impressed with something you did uh, Christian says holy shit he figured out a tornado circle so quick yay John I promise I'm not actually a total idiot I promise no I mean I'm just telling you because you know I think it's quite difficult when someone's already played a game and they've figured out the thing. It's quite difficult to see someone else, like, go through and be confused and struggle a little bit. Yeah. And then not have that kind of, like, oh my god, just figure it out sort of reaction. Okay. So Flox, the, yeah, the guy who was doing some form of statue memory test, excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below inside the island. No other information, though. Okay. And then that's that's all we've got here. So yeah, that's all that is. And I can just about go over the top there. This hasn't woken up. So yeah, now I've crossed back over to this island, but up top. So back go back over to the town. There must be more in the town. They said do you want to use the secret entrance to go and get into his workshop. That means there's a secret entrance. We just need to to figure out what it is, but I don't think those notes gave me any real, any real clue. And yeah, that's the water right there. And that's nothing useful. There's the tornado thing. So in the event you're blown up into space, that's where you're supposed to hide. There's another one right here. And yeah, there's basically this place is very small. But then again, I can see. I can see there's a bunch of stuff down here. So that that's where I want to go, and I can launch a scout. That's true. I can, yeah, I can, I can see it. She can launch scouts through this. So I just need to get down there. Hang on, hang on. Launch the scout again. Look up. Look for a way. Look for a logical way in. That'll be presumably. Yeah, that's where I am. I'm through that grill up there. Yeah. So now I know how that's orientated. So if you can't get in from up. Yeah. I don't see an obvious hole in the ceiling through which I could get in. So, I mean, on the other hand, what's that further below? If I just actually... Looks to me like there might be a way in from below in the water. Because that looks like water to me. And my ship can go underwater. I think that might be that might be our best bet right now. So I'm going to launch my scout here so I've got it as a point of reference. I'm going to I'm just going to go to the ship and try and see if I can use the ship to go in from below. 
So we'll see if that maybe is a solution. I think my ship's the back on this island, isn't it? My ship is. Yeah, scout's over there. Ship is over here. Oh, I think my ship might have. Oh, yeah, my ship was a little bit. Ah! Ow! I'm fine. I'm not fine. But now we know where we're going. It's fine. I forgot about that whole double gravity thing. Don't worry, he has a plan. Uh, hey, shout out to Arkman who uh, gave us five pounds and says, Hi both, I'm so excited to see you play this. I've been watching for years. Just a tip, read everything. Very little is actually recorded in detail in the ship's log. Okay. So. Okay, now hang on. Yeah, hang on. I always thought that was the interloper, but it's not. And it's also not... Okay, that sh they just fired. I always thought that was the interloper. But that's not the interloper at all. That's the probe being fired. And it's not being fired down at Giant's Deep at all. It's being fired in a... A retro angle from whatever way the planet is going, it fired the other way. It fired the other way from whichever way the planet's going. Okay. So that that's okay, go, 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 go. Okay, well first congratulation to whoever had full damage as a bet for your next death. You win. Uh, I don't like the sweepstakes. Secondly, uh uh shout out to Razek who uh says, John, remember, you can heal yourself inside the ship mm -hmm. uh, if you actually get back inside the ship. Yeah. Um, and then next up we've got... Do, 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 um, shout out to Croco King, who gave us five euros, and says, hey, Claire and John, have fun with this game. It is my game of the year so far. It is pretty darn I sweet. I hope you're not still watching. It is pretty darn sweet. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Sebastian Butler to the High King of Australia. We've got new, uh, we've got new people here. We've Controversial people, uh, naming here. Controversial naming. I mean, I don't know. Do you not want a butler? All right, slow it down. Slow. It. Well, I'm not the High King of. I'm not really the High King of Australia, so you know. Uh, I guess the butler's always the one that does the murder, so that's a yes. concern. Uh, but yes, shout out also to Oren who gave us two dollars. And says, please buy a coffee for my fave mods, Jinx and Thomas. Oh, hello. Well, on behalf of the other mods who also like coffee. What's this? Jinx. There's... Claire, there's a thing here. That's cool. There's thorns. I'm going to try and land on it while it's here. It only just... It literally only just landed. It was, it was just... It, it wasn't here a second well, it ago. It landed from the sky. I think so. It just plopped down. It looks like the dark bramble place. I mean, I, I just ran into this by accident, but while I'm here... Uh-oh, ghost matter detected. Okay, uh, well, you can sort that out by, like, you know, using cameras. But, okay, there's, it's only... It's it's further inside. It's further inside. Let's go closer to it. Yeah, I, but if I can work around it, though... I think that's more in this direction. I think we're okay for now. Uh, okay, if I go this way. This path is safe. And then just go across up here. I mean, I don't know what this is precisely, but it, yeah, it's some form of dark bramble thing. And I'm no longer seeing the stones, so I think we're safe on this path. Because it's the little, the little stones on the ground here, early warning sign. So I could hop over to whatever this is. Right, well, I found... I found something else, potentially. And then, yeah, activate flashlight. This is a dead end. Um, James in the chat says you can use the camera without firing the probe with left or right on the D-pad. Left or right. Ooh. I didn't. Oh, that's very... I think I did know that in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. uh, but Let's I forgot. go with that. Thank you, James. It's very convenient. All right. See, everybody, that's not a spoiler. That's useful information John needs to know. It's useful information. Tell us things like that. Okay, yeah. So if I go around here, this is safe. Ooh. So loop around the back here. I don't even know what I'm going for here, but I oh, don't like it. It's a bit... It's a bit creepy. 
Yeah, it's a it's a little bit. Um, it's a bit gen yeah. kind of like yeah, giant it's a bit jellyfish. Isn't it? Uh, I don't Aww. like. Do not like. It's a bit of an anti John thing, isn't it? Also, this yeah, it's also there's like a another extra little bit at the top. Yeah, there's like a little baby one or like something. A big alien. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, how do I? Oh, hang on. There's refill the jetpack. There's there's jetpack fuel here. The problem is, yeah, we've got. It's really, really high on the old. I can't really use my jetpack to get high. I can't get up top with my jetpack here. I need to find a way to get up naturally. So, hmm. Okay, that's that's ghost matter. That's ghost matter. Yeah, this is how I got round to here. Then there's, there's... This is dangerous. This is all very dangerous. I can't get through here. This is some form of barrier. That's blocked off. I think I need to go... I think I need to go back the way I came. And take the other path. But with this camera, it should be easier to get back round to, to where I was. And then, yeah. Unless I can go to... Here. That was too close to the ghost matter. Right, okay, nip back to where I was. Try and work my way back round to that. Is this where I was? Trees detected. No, this is this must be the other path I was on. This must be the other path I was on because there's there's stuff in the way. So these these are the two paths that lead to the same area. So in which case What's this place for? Hmm. It feels it, it's important. It can't not be important. You definitely okay. You definitely have to come this way, because this is the only way to get round to here. But then... There's nothing over here. This this is a dead end. I mean, I found these things, whatever the cock these are. Claire! You're missing stuff on the ground? True. Ooh, my chalice. I think I just took my spacesuit off to roast the marshmallows. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a great idea, but sure. Uh, anyway, uh, shout out, like I was saying, to Sebastian Butler to the High King of Australia. We made fun of his name in Super Chat, which is great. I think I'm about to be thrown into space, by the way. Sure. Uh, Sebastian says, um, John, you're right, damn straight. I, I, there's, a, there's a series of different Johns using the phrase damn straight. Damn straight. Which is the joke. Uh, build a John. Build that damn straight. Gay John. Damn straight. John falling in a river. Damn straight. That's a really, really, really a, a resilient fire. Okay, so. John it's... forgetting band names. Hang on. Damn straight. Claire, there's a recording. Yeah. Trip four, entry whatever, crashes two, so to do my job. boring crashes zero, <laughs> all the way down to the core, consider yourself conquered, Giant Steve, you just got felled sparred. It's one of my dramatic feats for himself. itself, can't believe I wasn't electrocuted, can't wait to tell Hornfells and Ghosten about this, I guess brute force isn't always the answer. So that's one off the list, seems like all that's left is the big one now, dark bramble, here I come. Also, I'm allowed to just doze off here if I want to. Okay, so there's a recording saying there was a way to get down into the center. But... How? That didn't actually give me any... All the way down to the core. Yeah. Dramatic feats. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Can't wait to tell Hornfells and Ghosten about this one. Brute force isn't always the answer. I'm also allowed to just go to sleep. Ah, I'll just go for a nice nap. Just... Okay, I could just pass some time here if I want to. This is... And that's fine, but what does this thing do? I might go back to my ship and just nip underneath this. And just see, you know, what... What what un, what's underneath it, if anything? Just look around the outside. Check underneath it. 
Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And then, yeah, go over here. Nip over here. There we go. And this path was, yeah, this path was the safe path. Because we checked it with the camera. So everything's fine. Okay. So now we're, we're going in the right-ish direction. There's a bit more auction. So auction's absolutely a-okay. This leads me to... Here we go. The ship is a little bit on its side right now. I'm just wondering if, yeah, I can use the ship to see what's going on. So, okay, uh, put that away. Buckle up. Prepare to launch ship. And, yeah, there's there's the red thing I just saw. And now just go under the water a bit. And now check for any form of underwater anything. And, yeah, mm -hmm. the game specifically said there's this weird current that means you can't get, like underwater so i'm guessing that's this right yeah i can't get past that so there's a weird current but it's also flowing in a particular direction so that's good and there's a there's a tiny thing here there's a ship there's just a random ship this must be his ship the guy who we ran into on the island because that that's identical to my ship does it have a way in i don't see a, a wibbly thing as a way in Huh. Okay, stay focused on the... Oh, there it is. Dead... Oh. Claire. Yeah. What does that remind you of? Not the red thing. The uh, purple lightning. At that time where, like, I became a super-powered person. Not that. Not Hidden. that. We don't that talk about cool. that. Yeah, I that mean... Really cool. That where I was projected from up on the station yeah. inside the probe launch thing is totally in there question is how do we how do we get to it because yeah there's a weird there's this weird current that forces you up so yeah there's there's three layers of atmosphere to this place there's the upper gas atmosphere then there's tornadoes between that and the water and then below the water there's a current barrier that prevents you from going further. And obviously you can't just push your way through. Because we were just specifically told. You can't brute force. And also I'm going to wherever the storm is. Because we've seen there's a massive storm somewhere. Where's the massive storm? I swear it's... Oh. Well there is... Oh hang on there's a... Hello. I found... Aha! This looks about right. Look at the architecture. This is where I was being projected. This is totally where I was being projected from the first of those rooms. I'm not sure how I'm going to land precisely. The chat is very ah, impressed that you ow. seem to have had a plus one perception moment. Okay, that's fine. Okay, something's slightly broken on the ship. It's the... I don't know. I'll figure it out when we go. Something's exploded anyway. Let's just open the hatch here. It, ow. Okay, that's fine because I can just walk through this. So go, 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 There we go. So yeah, these things, gravity doesn't play by normal rules inside these complexes. So as a result of that, oh bloody hell. Uh, just go around here and then... Uh, oh, gravity screwed me over a bit on that occasion. That's fine. Go in here. Loop around here. Go around here. And use that to get into... I should not have used my jetpack there. That was a mistake using my jetpack. Using the jetpack. How can using your jetpack ever be a mistake? Because then you leave you leave the gravity on the wall thing, mm. and then you fall sideways. Okay, so now, okay, so now I'm inside an old no my thing, and I've got a scroll. Okay, well that needs to be shoved somewhere. I'm guessing in here. Insert scroll, please. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe kind of module, ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Okay, so this is where they built it. This is presumably the, the factory that was mentioned. No, I assumed they wanted to scout out the eye that was inside this planet, but no, possibly not. Possibly, they. this is the factory, and actually what they're, they're, the eye of the universe is somewhere else. To all my friends here at the construct Yes, the construction yard. Here at the construction yard. This is the construction yard we've located. My gratitude for your tireless work. I'd given up hope. I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where other attempts have not. And are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words. They're atypical. 
if I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avon's behave together, Dazza, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. And if I know my brother Avon's and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon will break under the strain. And I propose to give Avon's and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power set than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Oh, so they did actually prepare for that. And then there's a couple of tornado shelters right here, which is convenient. A few more skeletons. Then, yeah, trees, which is good. And then a pathway up. All right, we've definitely found something good here. And we now, we're starting to understand how the universe fits together. And aha, this I'm guessing is a launch pad because this, like... This presumably is the thing that keeps your ship anchored during a tornado. That's how it works. So, okay. We've got that here. Looks like that's all this. Though there was actually a side room. So, we'll go and check that out. Don't know how long we've got until the universe explodes. Some amount of time. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Claire! Yeah. Uh, da, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, so that message that you didn't let me finish reading twice. Sorry. Um, has a uh, Teen John spelling damn straight with an at and an eight, uh, and backwards John straight damn. Yeah, backwards it John. It was more fun. It, it would have been more fun if you had let me finish, but obviously. You I'm sorry. That, I got. So there you go. Look, I was too busy doing the perfect parking job. You can see over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People also would like to fix your ship. Heal I your will chef. fix it at some point. Uh, shout out to Mr. Scratch who gave us twenty Australian dollars. Uh, and a uh, cry laughing smiley face and says um, it's a bad day for me but a chat should drink and be merry for me on my behalf hopefully the next month improves oh, well I hope it is a better month for you and this is interesting Yeah. hang on 40 minutes and 41 seconds this thing actually gives us a real countdown so we have absolutely confirmed that what we saw at the beginning of the game was not this station being destroyed by the interloper as I assumed it was indeed the launch of the orbital probe cannon. Mm. The thing is, is it possible that we could actually find enough data? Also, hang on. Let's get a bit more information. Control room projection stone. I think one of the tornadoes might be coming this way. Is it, is it going to hit us or is it just coming close by? I'm just going to go inside this. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to just go inside this shelter. Just in case. It's a bit safer. There we go. And wow, uh, thank you so much to uh, Travis who gave us a hundred dollars. Uh, thank you. And says, I'm finally able to catch another live stream. I've worked every Saturday for the last five months, but I finally got one off. How's it going, you guys? It is going pretty darn well, I think. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Uh, Tabby's sleeping in the other room. She's having a bit more food than usual for Such various medical cat. reasons. And she's enjoying it very much. There's been a lot of food comas. Damn straight. Okay, I've got bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. And I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb. Hang on, I swear I've seen this. I wish I were. They can fix the problem. Yes, I think I've... I remember seeing this. This is something we've seen before. We'll join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Adea may feel responsible. Also, I'm slightly underwater right now. The water's being a bit crazy. I swear I'd seen that before. Right, so in which case, hang on. If I just grab that and shove it in the projection stone. This will presumably be a reverse projection of what I've seen before. Yes, this is 100% where I've been before. So this is the control room of the broken thing outside so just step away from that okay so that's nice to know but i feel like we haven't learned a huge amount here aside from knowing that this here is the construction yard so yeah this will be like the massive space dry dock it was built in whether that actually helps us or not i'm not really clear uh and we'll just try and find a way to get back in the ship and look for another island though we've only got about few minutes remain though. Hang on. Brittle hollow projection stone. That might be some new information. Hang on. We'll go and take that over to the projection thingy. Claire. Yeah, a uh, shout out to Psycho Girl who gave us 20 Australian dollars and says it's been a long time since I caught a live stream. Happy to be back. Oh, good to have you back. Yeah, and we've got two new members, two new channel members. Shout out to uh, Togeman5000 uh, and Andrew Steele. Welcome. Uh, Alana gave us two uh, pounds and says, I like the vanishing moon. I call it Steve. <laughs> of 
quite indeed. Mm. Okay, is this something new? Yes, Conoy, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly. One somehow sank down beneath the current. Conoy, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Okay, so two conclusions we draw from that. One, if I could find a crash bit of ship, it might have pierced the, the current and therefore would be a tunnel I can get through. Or two, well, okay, actually, we know from the projection module there is in the core a bit of the ship. We yeah. know that's there. So in theory, if I could find a teleporter like we found between black hole and white station mm -hmm. that would take me there that's how we bypass it we have to bypass it by using some form of teleportation device not by finding the right hole through it which i suspect is the big is the better answer there so because convinced us to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using the cannon parts we're very curious to know what happened uh, how could something pass through the current this seems very important. My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of the Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory. And it reveals how an object might sink. And I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? And if you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be glad to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's Equator. Okay, Brittle Hollow's equator to below the south hole is an observatory that would let us access underneath that. I'd say that's a pretty bloody hot lead. Yeah, So I'm not sure if you're going to manage to get to it in time. Not this, not this round. No, this round I was just going to focus on basically seeing if I could find another island. If I could just find another island. And my ship might be slightly on fire right now. But it'll reset itself when everything explodes. When time runs out. Which should be in a few minutes. So I won't bother repairing it. I'm sure it's fine as it is. Ow. Ow. Okay now. Okay everything's now. Okay I'll admit. I've done more damage to my ship during the takeoff. Yeah. It. 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 Okay, we might need to go and do some repairs. Um, we might need to do some repairs here. So we just need to hook that shit. Uh oh! That was a bigger drop than I was expecting. But in many ways, the ship's going to be repaired now. So it's fine, if you think about it. Claire! Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Steve, who gave us five pounds. And says, evening, John, Claire, and Tabby. I missed a live stream, but here, uh, this, uh, but here is for this one. Uh, well done with the Solaris series so far. I love it. It is a damn good series. I've been very happy with it. It's very fun. And shout out also to Opportunity V1, who gave us two pounds and says, Merry Zarkland Day, everybody, and good luck with the spooky moon. Damn straight. Okay, I'm, just, I'm keeping my eye out for the moon. Mm -hmm. I'm watching for it, whether it's there at the beginning or not, because it's it's not there right now. It's on the plans, but oh, I blip, blip, blip. this might be about to be a very short life. I was looking at the moon too much, and now I've fallen off the bridge, and don't know if I can get back up again. It's a... Okay. So it's just, 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 I was watching the moon oh, too much. Oh my God, I was I love watching you. I was watching oh, the moon slightly I was watching the moon slightly too much. <laughs> you should have to replay it for me, game. I'm embarrassed enough already. Okay, we're just... Shout out to Lonely Soul Searcher in the chat who says, Who bets for fall damage for a third time? Yeah, well, that was that was a fast one. That was the shortest life yet. Okay, don't fall off this particular bridge. Still don't see the cocking moon. The problem is, okay, hang on, hang on. If I if I take off really fast now, take off really cocking fast now, and when I say take off really fast now, okay, get go 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 go. Look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. That blue light over there, that is what was fired out of the station. Okay, I'm gonna try and follow it because that is the, that's the probe. That's the probe they fired. That blue little speck in front of us. I don't know if you can see that, Claire. Mm -hmm. It's over there. That's what they fired. 
So I'm going to try and follow it. Because we now know that this is what, that's what destroyed the ship and, wait, what? Oh, Aligning well, flight you've beaten Dan for the quickest and most foolish death, apparently. apparently. Aligning flight trip. Okay, they, interesting. I think I've just reached the edge of the, the galaxy. Where am I right now? I'm, yes, I've immediately reached the edge of the galaxy. I thought that little blue light was like the pointer thing in the middle of your screen. It moves with you. No, that's, no, I mean the. This, look, there's a blue thing that's moving on the screen that's not that's not the cursor. Okay. And wherever that thing is, it appears to be... It appears to have been fired outside of the solar system. I assumed it would be doing orbits or it would be going somewhere, but... Actually, maybe it's coming back around. Okay, Claire, I'm just going to mm -hmm. check if it comes back around. It does appear to be not just disappearing, it's moving up. And logically, that would mean it might be doing a ridiculously massive orbit. I'm going to keep my eye on it. Claire! Yeah, sorry. Uh, shout out to Artman, who gave us five pounds and says, Hi both, I'm so excited to see you play this. I've been watching for years and uh, yeah, remind you to read everything as well. It's disappeared. Okay, whatever that thing is, it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's just disappeared. So that's... Whatever that thing fired, it was not being aimed directly at that. It was not being aimed at anything inside this system because it's naffed off. So that's of interest, isn't it? Right, lock onto Giant's Deep. Let's go look for some more islands here, because how many islands have we found so far? We found two islands linked by a thing. We found the island he was on. We found that little island. Um, I think that means there should be one more island that we have not yet actually come across. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, we, we slightly overshot it, but that's absolutely fine. We should be catching up momentarily. Claire! All yours while we just move over towards Giant's Deep again. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Scratch, who gave us five Australian dollars and says, Well, it's nothing like it. This game does give me surviving Mars flashbacks. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't... Aside from maybe the score? The score's not dissimilar. But other than that, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have called for the... I wouldn't have called a similarity there. Mm. And shout out also to John, who uh, gave us five pounds, and says, Shout out to the hedgehog that delayed flights at my local airport. It is still alive. Smiley face. Sweet. I think it must be, yeah. Hedgehog think, on the, on the maybe runway. Maybe if you were on Twitter, it would be like a smiley face, but like upside down. Excellent. You know that one. Excellent. Can't um, be angry at a hedgehog, mm -hmm. like. You can't be angry at a hedgehog. No, it's too cute. Uh, 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 da, 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 right, da. match speed, um, and now just gently ease in through the galaxy. Hey, John. Yes. Um, not a spoiler, but the chat suggests very strongly that you might want to read the text on the probe cannon. I might want to, but I've also just come across whatever the cock this is. Yeah, this is cool. This is okay. I think I found the final island, and it's a mm -hmm. it's a big ass one. Okay. Uh, the question is, do I want to? Okay. What I want to do is, I want to land on the designated landing platform. That's what I want. Eh. Just a little bit further. It. Eh. There we go. Now I feel like I'm in the lines. Now I feel like my ship will stay where it is during like takeoff and landing and whatever. If there's like a storm, because I feel like it's being held down. Okay. Well, there was definitely one more island. And it was the big one. So we found something important here. All right. Let's just have a little bit of a quick loopsy round. It'll take a little bit of time to do. <laughs> yes. Claire. Um, yeah, I think this is the kind of thing that like people look for for a really long time. This particular element of the story, I think, is, a, is something that people tend to like be looking for for a while. What? And everybody's really impressed that you found it by accident. This particular like space. What, like, this, this, this exact thing? Yeah. Well, it can't be that difficult to find. This is not a, well, okay, it's not the biggest planet, but because it's, it's water, it's flat, so logically if you just did circuits, you'd, you'd find it pretty quick, right? Mm, I don't know. Everybody's like, oh my God, he's like, <coughs> found it by accident. Stumbled on the plot by complete accident. And I'm, and I didn't even mean to come here. I'm supposed to be going over to the, the equator of Britta Hollow, look, Brittle Hollow, looking for a way down towards something underneath the South Pole. Still, we've got some good stuff going on here. Translate, please. Be welcome. Wow, that's <clears throat> that's how they wrote be welcome to this place. With that, that's a too close to text. So, welcome to this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. I feel like quantum journeys is what I want to do. Because I feel like a conventional journey isn't 
isn't what I need. I think I need a quantum journey. So I'm just going to go woobly woob. Claire! Yeah, apparently the thing is quite big, but also in order to find it, you have to be inside a tornado, which you didn't notice you went into. Did? Oh, does this thing live inside a tornado? Yeah. 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 Ah. Oh, yeah. that would explain why I'm surrounded by tornado. You didn't know I was in a tornado either. Yeah, because I'm trying to work at the same me, time. Me, 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 me. Honk. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Amanda who gave us five dollars and says I just got Untitled Goose Game and I highly recommend. It is because fun. Because low level mayhem in a quiet town as a honking horrible goose, it is great. It is pretty damn good. Yeah. Okay, so let's figure out what's more about this place. Enter this place without friends. However, these are lessons you learn yourself. That's fine. I've only got Claire here, so, you know. Uh, what are you talking about? Have I got... Okay, so there's definitely nothing further up there. That's a thing. So, okay, jump down here because this is the only place to go. But be ready with my jetpack. And... Uh, okay, no. They were ready to catch me anyway. So, okay, now I'm inside. And there's oxygen here. This feels important. I feel like I've found something important here. And... I will say, I just love how this game, like, you know... It does so much interesting stuff with the... With the environment. Like, you know, the hourglass twins and hiding buildings inside tornadoes and multiple layers of, like, planet defences inside a if gas giant. If only the person playing it would notice those cool details instead no, of having just these to cool be told. I wasn't told that. I, fe I found this. And I would have I would have seen it when I went back outside. I would have seen it when I came back outside and... Wait, what? But... Claire, no. I'm not the only one that just saw that, right? That. I don't know because I was literally watching the screen of my computer where my work is happening. Okay, look at look at there's an arch there. Yeah. Watch. Ooh. I've seen this before. These are quantum there's quantum rocks that do this. I just need to keep my eye on it, otherwise it will disappear. As long as you're watching it, it can't move. That's what quantum things do. Yeah. So okay. I understand. Next. Go forward another step. Now Unidentified signal nip. Yep, it's one of these bastards. Island shard. I've run into these guys before. So they just like, if you turn your back and then they just go away. And then occasionally they just like stalk you a bit. There's one of them in the... Uh, Why are you blinking if they are going to stalk you? Well, I've, I've, I've never seen any evidence they're hostile. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it must be doing something here it must be unless it's just here to demonstrate things but what are these little alcoves for um shiono in the chat points out that you should be reading every single thing that you can in especially in this tower it's very important but there's nothing to read there's nothing there's nothing here there's pedestals apparently I haven't... Well, I've seen two, and I've read both of them. Mm. But I haven't seen anything. Yeah, I think I'm just being... I'm having some stuff being demonstrated to me right now. Okay, so... Okay, there's there's more here. Ah, the problem is... The problem now is there's no uninterrupted line of sight that lets me get to... Okay, the pedestals are also disappearing. I need to... I need to find a pedestal. Okay, now it's behind me. Okay, okay, okay. Right, check this. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Observing an object, observing an image of the object, these are the same. And I know an object is around here. If I turn my back on it, it does not reappear. But if I'm down on the ground, it will reappear. I know for a fact there can be a thing up there. Now, can I use my jetpack to just get up to... No, the gravity's too strong. Observing a... I know what to do. I know precisely what to do. Scout launcher. Observing an image of it. As long as it is observed, it is observed. If I just take a picture of it, it now can't disappear. Because I am observing a picture of it. Nice. Even if it is Good not work. a live picture... Boom. Nice. Got it. Ha! Figured that one out faster than you were expecting me to. Now the question is, is there anything else here? That's the thing. I need to check whether there's going to be anything else in any of the other 
Vamos lá. There was something that just went wibble over here, but I don't know. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Well, regardless, I don't I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back here. I'm just gonna check one more time. So the game is literally tutorializing quantum objects, and now I know how to hold them in place. If I take a photo, they cannot go away. So that's a very I get the feeling that's a really important lesson to learn. So now I can go through here. All right, right. So we can get rid of that now. Summon that back. And now, hello. Yes, I see you there. So you're just a big old quantum rock. I appreciate that. Thing is, I mean, I guess I can now. I I should hold you in place. So yeah, now it can't. Now it can't move, which is fine. Because it's being observed. Even though that's not actually... I don't think that's a live... This isn't a live feed. It's a one-off photo. But apparently just the, the fact that it, ha it is being observed is good enough. So, fine. I can hold this thing in place. I just don't know if that does me any good. I can just listen to it. It's very nice. Get you back out. Well, you're just stuck in place now. Okay, fine. I see what we're doing here. I, I see what we're doing. Get me down on the ground, please, and uh, let's see what we got. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Okay, well, I know I can force the both of these things to hold still because I can just take images of them. Arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Okay, so I need to take a, fi a picture of the crystal that would not see the arch. So it needs to be at an angle where the arch would not be visible. Then I just let the arch basically... So that would be a good angle, because then... There we go. There we go. So that, that wouldn't... Okay, so that's now... That's an image of the crystal. But it would not see the arch if the arch were there or not. So the arch is not observed. So now I just need to wait until... There we go. So that's now... They are now aligned. The arch and the crystal are now aligned. Now I need to redo the picture from an angle where... They will both be observed. I need to get both of them in the shop. Now they're both in the shop. So now they're both fixed in place. So now presumably that means they will... That will actually let me do something. I don't know what, but presumably it will. Now, ah, the arch of the crystal, because the crystal's a gravity crystal. That's the only way to get up top. Okay. Uh, just double check that there are no... The gravity crystal's being a bit... Being a bit excessive. Okay, the gravity crystal won't let me go. So, I don't think there was anything else here. Okay. The quantum place is here. Okay. Summon that back. Do we have a little quantum rock friend? Quantum rock friend. No quantum rock friend today. Okay. Oh, hello, quantum rock friend. Right, okay. Well, nothing I need to do with you. It's nice you're here. Drop down. And now... This feels like a bigger haul. Right. Keep on keeping on. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Okay. Um, the chart would like me to remind you about photo mode. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I can just use... Yeah, I can just take photos. This but is I the... think there's a... I'm not sure if there's a difference between what they're saying and, like, what you're already doing. Because they can clearly see that you're taking pictures. Yeah, but I think they mean with, like, the, the easy just take photos... Like that. Yeah, oh, instead of the probe. Which is faster. I like using the probe. The probe's good. Okay, so... I see. I need to... Ah! I think I know exactly what I need to do. I need to take a photo that covers... Okay, so that one is now fixed. That one, however, will now move. I need to move you into such a position as... One of you's at the bottom in a perfect world. Because I need one I need one crystal to appear at the bottom. There we go. So you're now at the bottom. Those are now fixed in place. Though I will actually set you like that. So okay. So that one's now in place. Uh, so now. Now I can get up to the middle. I can just walk up here. Now however. I need the middle one to stay in place. But I need it to be stood, stood in place in such a way as I can allow the this one to disappear. So now, there we go. Oh! Oh, you made... 
What did you do? I didn't keep it in my line of sight long enough. I needed to take a secondary photo. But I did, I had figured it out. Okay, now, take a photo of both of them. Now it will stay in place even when I walk past it. Boom. Ha! Oh, hard you say? Flipping hard? I don't think that's that flipping hard. I think I'm a cocky genius at quantum. I'm assuming these are going into the same. I mean, they seem to be... Just keep your eye on it. All right, just just drop down before it disappears again. Oh, there we go. Right, aha, this feels like I've made it down somewhere important. Right, so, okay. Big ass thing. And that's not doing anything. So, we offer congratulations. You've learned the rules of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Your curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Ship log has been updated. Okay, and I can drop down back to where I started. Is there anything else in here before I go any further? Just check for anything hidden around the back, but I think we're okay. And yeah, there's a little... I think there was a little quantum rock friend in here. Hello, quantum rock friend. I love you. You're my best quantum rock Apparently friend. Dan was ter terrified of the quantum rock. I love the quantum rock. Quantum rock's great. Yeah. Okay, and this is the bit of water I started with. So just jet back out of here. And now we're back to the front. Okay. I mean, I understand how that's useful in terms of, like, tutorializing what's probably an important mechanic. But I'm not sure how, if I see how that helps other than that. I mean, it's, okay, it's useful information. But, I'm not, but I guess that, in all fairness, this entire game is nothing but useful information because everything gets constantly reset. So knowledge, knowledge was the real power, Claire. Knowledge yeah, all was, along. Yeah, and we've got a lot going on here. And yeah, the orbital probe cannon that is has fired out of the... Yeah, actually fired out of everything. So hang on, just check the... That, yep, statue workshop. Yeah, we haven't found a way into the statue workshop. We found Bramble Island... And the Southern Observatory. And we found the the quantum the quantum tower, which is great. Yes, that's useful. The Southern Observatory. So, yeah, we know about that. A path beneath the surface of the east of the observatory. Trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Okay. I feel like for now we've probably found quite a lot of information here on Giant's Deep. Because we found, I think, all of the islands. That was the fifth island, if I recall correctly. And we know we can't just brute force our way down below the surface. We need to find a way to quantum down there. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like, yeah, we need to go to the Southern Observatory on Brittle Hollow, starting in the centre. So, hang on. Brittle Hollow was the... Yes, that's the black. That's the terrifying black hole planet. Yeah. Terrifying black hole planet. That's absolutely fine. Tell me your secret. Uh, okay, well time's probably running a bit low, so let's just do a little bit of a starting recce here. Let's do a little bit of a starting recce. You see, this is the point where I would have realised I was inside an actual tornado. Yeah. This is the point I would have realised, alright. that That's when I would have realised it. Maybe that's where the moon disappeared to, inside a tornado, you don't know. It's, it doesn't seem desperately likely, but I can't mm -hmm. rule it out as a possibility, I suppose. That's a really cool-looking tornado, though. Yeah. Yeah, there's a load of them, too. They just kind of do... They just do the rounds. They just do the flipping rounds. I mean, I feel like you would just accidentally come across anyway, because, like, if you occasionally just, like, cut through a tornado, you'd slam into that tower. Oh, you need to come in from above, I'm guessing. Ah, that makes sense. You need to come in from above, and... There we go. That's nice. And... Wait, what? Claire? What? Do you remember how, like, there was a specific thing saying, oh, you definitely can't brute force your way through the current? Mm-hmm. I just brute force my way through the current. Because now I'm... Claire? I just... Oh, that is really like a jellyfish. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm going to keep my distance. Um... So can I can I go and say hello to it? Uh, okay, it doesn't. Maybe you can't brute force your way through that. You can't brute force your way through that bit. Okay, maybe that's the bit you're not supposed to be able to brute force your way through. I might need to just very quickly go and do a bit of just tinkering. I don't know where the electrical systems are. 
Electrical systems, electrical systems, it's... I don't know where the bit I'm supposed to be fixing is, which is a problem. Um, apparently there's only one tornado that lets you do that, and it's like really difficult to find and you've just found it by luck. Sweet! I think I see the electrical thing I'm supposed to be fixing. Uh oh, shit. Shit, there's, there's a, quite a strong current. There's quite a strong current. There's quite a strong current. Let me just fix that. No, no. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Hold. Hold. Steady. Yeah. Electricity restored. I'm a genius at repairs. Right, okay. Go. Back in we go. Okay, ship is now fixed. Yeah, everybody is astonished by how, like, y all your points have clearly been dumped into luck. Okay, so I'm guessing we don't ram the jellyfish. Because clear issue that, you know, electricity shorts out my ship's electricity. Now, if I ram into this, I lose my electricity. So that's bad. Now, I know I can get inside this thing. Or rather, I know there is a know my ruin inside it thing is i don't know i'm guessing even though i've managed to make my way this far it's not good enough to just be here because there's still there's there's another barrier here there's barriers of gas then water then current then oh, hello there's a there was a red marker there that doesn't correspond to a jellyfish hello hello no that's a new jellyfish emerging i think that's a new jellyfish emerging. Yes, that's a new jellyfish emerging. So this thing just produces jellyfish. I wonder if you spot a red spot before a jellyfish emerges, whether that's a weak point that you might be able to breach. Because that appeared before the jellyfish did. Or if one of them goes back in at some point. I mean, there's... you. Are you going back in? Oh, he's going back in. Clap! We're going for it! YOLO! Well, maybe not quite this second, but as soon as he goes in, as soon as there's less electricity popping, there's... We just need to... Yes! Hello! Okay, there was still a lot of electricity. Yeah. Also, I think the universe is exploding, by the way. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I just heard the sound of the universe exploding. I'm like moderately confident the universe is about to pop. We're about to pop? Possibly not, no. But well I'm hearing something that sounds like Yep, I thought I heard the sound of the universe going pop. Still, on the plus side, we made some good progress there. Yeah. Okay. We have. So let's let's put some stuff together here. Mm-hmm. Quantum. Yeah. Thing. I mean. I've got a stupid plan. I'm not going to say it out loud because it's really cocky oh, stupid. So, 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 You'll so. see it momentarily. It's a really stupid plan. But I've got a really, really stupid no, plan. No, no. You're going to see it in like seconds. Mm -hmm. You're going to see it in like seconds, alright? Really stupid plan. It's a really, really, really stupid plan. But where do you say when we say an image of something is the same as a thing? Yeah. I mean, is a picture the same as an image? You mean like a drawing? Precisely. Except I can't get out my I'm not allowed to get out my thing right now. I was hoping if I if I was thinking, if I took a photo of that map, does yeah. having that count? To do what? To oh. have to make the moon appear mm -hmm. if it's a quantum moon. But I, I'm literally not allowed to get out my my Is camera. Maybe do you need to maybe like set off first? Possibly. Maybe if I'm out in space, I just need to watch out for this moon. If I see it and I photograph it, the question is whether it's ever going to appear by itself. If I'm out, I'm going to go try go out in space. I'm just going to go try going out in space. Maybe if I'm out in space. <laughs> I'm... 
Shout out to Charlie who gave us five pounds and says, John, in the three months since you did the video for this, did you beat the game and are now trolling us? Or are you actually this lucky? I've, I've, this is all pure luck. And I've not touched it again. And partly gameplay instinct. Okay, try getting this out now. No, you're not allowed to get out your, you're not allowed to get out your camera. Camera's in the suit, John. Is the camera in the suit? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. This... There's... It's... It, except... Hang on, there's... Okay, except I put... The, I put it away afterwards. Okay, match speed, match speed, match speed. Okay, put the... No, I need to... I don't know. I don't want to put the... No! Don't do... No! No, I want to keep my thing out. Okay, hang on. Back to the... Back to the... Back to the... Thing. Recover this. Yes. Okay. It wasn't that easy. But it was not a bad theory. Mm -hmm. It was not a terrible theory. It's... I thought if I... Okay, I need to keep an eye on it. Because I swear I've... Actually, I'm not sure whether I've ever actually seen the moon there. Or not. I, I mean, I've, se I've seen it on the plan, but okay. It was, a, it was, this is why I didn't want to say it was a stupid theory. It was not stupid. You're getting hot. Okay. Well, I need to find some form of evidence of its existence. I'm just going to try turning around. No. Okay, well, we'll revisit this. Our next lead was Brittle Hollow, which I don't think I've even been to before. Um, so we need to go to Brittle Hollow, which I believe is... No, that's Timber. Brittle Hollow is the one with the... Yes, Brittle Hollow is the one with the, uh, the glowy moon. That's the black hole planet, if I recall correctly. Uh, though actually it does have... It does have a really glowy moon. I quite like the glowy moon. It's pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, I'm going a bit fast. 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 We'll, we'll catch up with it in a second. Claire! Oh, yours while I catch up with the planet. Yeah, shout out to Brad who gave us $5 and says, I love this channel, especially John's history lessons. They are very good. Do I... more history lessons, John. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Lanka who gave us 5 euros and says, uh, 5 euros for 4 months seems cheap for the amount of entertainment John provides. Maybe one day I can afford to repay you accordingly. Aww. Thank you very much. We do I, genuinely I think that's, appreciate that. That's, I think that's, that's quite enough. That's quite enough. Uh, yes. I think that is absolutely, eminently, perfectly reasonable. Okay, it's starting to move in this direction, so just match its direction. Um, yes. Apparently the moon appeared on screen and you oh, shit. it. Oh, shit. Claire. I see some... No, don't, don't you fucking dare disappear. No, don't disappear by the sun. No, no, fuck. Fuck, it's right there. You better still be there. You better still be there, you absolute asshole. Come back here. Come back. Where's the... Come back. Okay, wait. 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 No. Yes. No, don't! It's disappeared by... No! No, it disappeared by the planet! No! No! There we go. Yeah. There we go. Is the moon in, the, in that shot? In the shot? In the shot? In the shot? The shot? That's in shot. That's it. That's in shot. That's definitely in shot. That's that's a thing next to... Oh, shit. Okay, we've got a problem, Claire. Mm-hmm. When I... When I go into my pilot seat, I put this away. I can't have this out while I'm piloting my ship. You see, if I... If the, you see, I've got it on screen right now, but if I actually do that, then... Am I allowed to have that? And yeah, you can't... You can't do the snapshot mode while you're flying. Could you then have to do the scout? Or I could get closer to it and then get the image out once I'm close. And then presumably that would make it exist. That would make it exist. Because it being observed as an image is equivalent to it existing. So I believe if I actually now stand up... And get this back out again. Then. Ah no it's been. It's gone. It's been It's been reset. The image gets reset by. The image gets reset. So. 
I guess I just have to watch for it and then basically just send a probe. Yeah, or use the scout launcher. Send a probe from the ship. Yeah. Well, a scout and a probe is the same thing. Yeah, I need to use I need to use the ship's scout, not this. So okay, yeah, I need to just use the the scout probe. Hello, I see you over there, but I'm guessing you don't have a moon anymore, you stupid bastard. Uh, it looks to me like you don't have a moon. Right, it look, I guess the moon is just sometimes there and sometimes not. But there's no moon there right now. Right, match speed, match speed, match speed, match speed, match speed. We're totally going to... That's going to fly over the top of us, but that's absolutely fine. We're pretty close by to it. We'll catch up with it in no time at all. Let's let's just focus on... Uh-oh, Clarence! Did you just fly into the sun? Like? There was a sun there, yes. Well done. I forgot the sun was there. But we have... It's not a quantum sun, though, is it? No. Closing your eyes and pretending it's it's not there doesn't actually help when it's the sun. No. It was going to kill me anyway, to be honest. It was going to kill me anyway. And yeah, I find it really odd that blue thing just naffs off out of the galaxy. Which, which strikes me as so odd that following it doesn't lead anywhere. So... Right. So, yeah. There's, there's things going on here. There's things. Shout out to Sora who called uh, you crashing into the sun uh, shortly before it happened. <laughs> keep an eye out for moon. Dead no moon. I'm pretty sure the moon isn't there at the beginning. You have to just keep an eye out for it in case it appears later. And just keep going up. Right, okay. Roundy, roundy, roundy. Where's the rest of it? That's timber half. Don't need that. Don't need that satellite. Where's the rest of you? There you go. That's you. Brittle hollow. Right, let's just move in that direction. I think it's, yeah, it's moving over here. So we can just match out the attitude and whatnot. We're getting nice and close to it. Good. Right, okay. Now we have specific instructions. Start on the equator. Now I'm assuming that those two little white bits that are the way I'm looking at it right now are on the left and the right the poles, yeah. are, would represent the poles. Not because I've got any evidence to believe that, but just because, like, you know, we assume as humans... Okay, you've got a moon too. Well, I don't care about your moon. We'll come back for you later. Just because, you know, I assume as a human that a pole is a white thing. So, okay, let's let's start about the equator. And we've already established, yeah, that's that's the terrifying black hole city. We've seen that before. So now I just need to, yeah, start at the, actually then again, the black hole city might well be what we're supposed to be looking. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do one tour of the, what appears to be roughly the equator. So there's clearly, that's a landing pad right there. Now, I think that's possibly... Do you think a landing pad's a good starting point? Yes, a landing pad's a good place to land, John. I agree. I think a landing pad seems like an excellent, especially as that's a quantum block. That's a quantum thing right there. I mean, we are specifically looking for quantum shit, and that, and we're on the equator, and that's a quantum break. Okay. So I feel like this is actually the right place to start. I'm already in the soup, mm. right? Yeah, I'm already in the soup. Yes, Claire. It's just that um, the quantum moon was in the sky earlier and you missed it. Ah, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so there's a quantum thing over there. Now, let's just very quickly uh, go over to this. And now let's just make sure it stays in place. Right, so that's now stuck in place for the time being. Which is important because gravity here is 1.0. So, yeah, now that now is wherever it is for the time being and i believe if i oh yeah this this is this there's there's some stuff going on around here by the way right, you know what this is more important for the time being so the trees are moving the trees in this grove wander around freely the entire planet roots and all this is the entire planet right that's a plant not planet roots and all this is not normal even for this alien planet i never see them move how's that possible right this see these are quantum trees if anyone else has witnessed this disturbing behavior i implore you record observations and Plume's right, the trees do move. Uh, hadn't noticed until I read this note. But alarmingly, this isn't the only such trees. There are other matters in this area. Unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Rock is unusual for another reason. It possesses colour and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. 
could it be what's causing other by nearby uh, other nearby objects to move around okay so this is broadly you know we know about this and yeah there's something up top of the rock so I feel like what we ought to potentially do is try and get up top. And I don't think I'll be able to do that. Actually, I might be able to do that just with my normal jetpack. If I just jump off the if I just jump off the ship and then, you know, don't fall off and die. Uh hang on, let's just get the full picture here. There's more over here yet. Um Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Well, that seems like a good sort of thing. Uh, if you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. I feel like in many ways we've already been to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I like I would have thought that's where we just were, I but think so, yeah. that was on a different planet to where I am right now, so that's no. Get on top of the ship, get just recharge on top of the ship here. I'm not sure I'll be able to make it over to this from here. I feel like I might I might need to reposition ship. Go! Yeah. Go! Uh uh oh! Uh. Okay, actually, I, that was quite easy to do. In fact, if anything, I slightly overdid it. Uh, but that's fine. I've, I've been too used to dealing with 2x gravity. I forgot that, like, you know, now now we're in normal 1 times gravity. It's actually much easier to get over to that sort of a thing. I really hope I don't miss again, by the way, or I probably will die. Probably will die. And also, now it's over there. Uh, but that's actually fine. Because now I can actually just use this little thing as a launching off point, which is actually easier. So there we go, and, uh, uh, and there we go. Okay, so on top of the pillar. Uh, Plume Felix, I've determined this atypical shot of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. So this thing isn't just quantum, it's causing other things to be quantum. A unique signals coming from the shard. Yep, yeah, fine. And hang on, just uh, our friend, the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep. Timber Half and Hourglass Twins. Now, I have seen some of these before. <clears throat> I've seen... I've run into these rocks in the past. I just didn't know what they were at the time, aside from the fact they were vaguely quantum -y. So, yeah, there's one inside the museum on Timber Half. I've just... Obviously, we were only just at the one over on Giant's Deep. And the Hourglass Twins, we ran into one over there, too. That was close by to the crash ship. So, we've already met all of those. The only object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this grove are related. So, uh, in a note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? And yet, we figured that out already. Quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Okay, well that all makes a lot of sense. Now, we just need to... Yeah, actually, well, we may as well, if, as they say, hey, this is something to do with the, the quantum moon. We may as well actually, you know, follow the thing and do what it says and see if it's the same as what we've run into previously. Hang on, was this the, was this the place where it told us to do that? Yes, if you're preparing to, preparing to make a pilgrimage to the quantum moon, this might give me information as to when and under what circumstances the moon does and doesn't appear so I can get a snap of it with my camera then I can guarantee it won't disappear. And also, I have still found my way to the terrifying black hole city that's hanging off the bottom of a thing. That's fine. That's all 100% fine. It's, it, this is all useful information to know. Darn it. And, okay. The Southern Observatory. South, 550 metres. Now, that's where I want to go to. Tower of Quantum Knowledge, down 90. Now, and I can make it go... Okay, down 90, or I can make it go up. It, there is no up, so make that go down instead. I mean, I thought, I would have really thought, like, the Tower of Quantum... I feel like I've already gone to a Tower of Quantum Knowledge, right? I mean, I just went to a tower where there was some quantum knowledge. But it's here, so I'm just going to check. Maybe this is, like, going to teleport me to... Well, maybe, because people were saying you were supposed to go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge much later. Maybe this is the first Tower of Quantum mm -hmm. Knowledge... Okay, yeah, so this is fine. It seems pretty on the small side, but then again, it's quantum, so who knows? Be welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the quantum mood, ascend these stairs, obtain the last of the knowledge you need for the journey. I feel like I've already got a fair bit of knowledge. Yeah, related. but you, like, also keep skipping important reedy bits. I'm not. I'm reading literally everything. No, you've skipped several things that people were like, oh, my God, I can't believe he didn't read that pedestal. Okay. Do a bit of turny rounding. 
Okay, nothing's appearing. Also, the city's kind of exploding. That's fine. So, okay. There's that over there. That's the crossroads. And it's also slightly falling apart right now. That's fine. Alternatively, let me go this way. Okay. So that's going. Ooh, apparently, you went to the Tower of Quantum Trials, and this is the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Those are different. Okay. Well. There is more than one tower. The other one was a secret tower. The crossroads east. Hang on. That goes down over there. That also seems to go down over there. Yeah, I'm just going to go into this and we're going to see where we go. We're just being taken on a journey. I think we, we had that in the up position in case we need to revisit this on a subsequent loop. So, okay. We're making our way over to the crossroads. Just, you know, having a nice explore through the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Just having a bit of a looksy roundy. Figuring out that... Ah! I think I might have... Okay. I've accidentally gone to White Station. I know where I am now. I know about White Station. I've been to White Station before. Although, admittedly, last time I came to White Station, I... Ow! <laughs> Did anybody have a uh, bonked in the head by an asteroid? Everything is fine. I just need to get back onto that. Hello, interloper. I love you. Right. I just need to get onto... Wait, was this White Station? Or was this... I swear this was White Station over here. And then if we just go over to... No, no. Stop. 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 Everything's fine. I just need to get into White Station to double check. Now I understand oh how those... Now I understand how those mechanics mm. work better. The chat is very amused by you falling through that black hole. There we go. Oh, it's what it's there for. Sure. Get into White Station. This is it's a, I've been here before, but it's useful to revisit this place because now I understand it better. Mm -hmm. And here we go. There's oh, there's a. There we go. Yeah, I've been here before, but I didn't fully understand it last time I was here. In between projection stone. So yeah, if I can just take that. And now I understand, no, I need to go down, not up, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm guessing there's going to be a... I thought that was going to be, but okay, let's... I assume that was going to be one of those tables that you could use for reading these things, but... Apparently not. Okay, hang on. Remind me. Uh, yes, White Hole Station. Don't worry if you fell through the black hole by accident. Don't worry, you aren't the first. See, I don't feel bad about this. Nice. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Uh, specific astral body. Choose the tower. Stand on the warp platform and wait until the tower aligns with the corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. Uh, if you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. So, just need to... It'll take me back there sooner or later. It'll take me back there sooner or later. Everything's under control. And... There we go. See? I'm back where I wanted to be. Everything's fine. Admittedly, I'm probably a fair way away from my ship at the minute. But I'm back on Brittle Hollow. It's the important thing in many, many, many ways. Good translator. Uh, warp station charge. Step onto warp platform when ready. Departure time. Arrival time. Okay, so that's presumably just me arriving there. And jetpack refueling. That's always welcome. Hello. Hanging city below 50 meters. Okay, so that gets me back down to where I wanted to go. So, can't actually drop down that hole though. And that's an up rather than a down. I need a down to get back down to the hanging city. Because that's where I wanted to be. Remind myself what this place was. To our friends in Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from Whitehall Station. Our design work we've successfully recreated. Warp travel. Hooray! And yeah, you can't just use the warp travel to wait, hang on. Claire. Mm -hmm. White Hole Station lets you teleport to any celestial body if you line it up correctly. And warps you 
to one of these platforms, like one of the um, the Know My bases. Mm -hmm. What if you use that to get to the Know My base within the purple blob on Giant Steep? I don't know. What if that's the solution? It's not a terrible theory. But I swear, it, I actually saw it pass by. And by the way, we actually do have one of these. Apparently you didn't read it all again. That sounds about right. Sure. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent and they appeared to show Nomaya arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from Whitehall Station. Okay. Time travel. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clara and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every time somebody warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, oh, only a hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't actually measure time to such a small degree? I've already told Rani these measurements can't be accurate. How can I know my arrival on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate. She's kind of helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to get more data. The High Energy Lab is at the canyon. Ah, is in the canyon on Ember's Twin Equator. Come here at once, you'd see this. Okay, Ember's Twin Equator High Energy Lab. Remember that. And don't screw it would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We'd have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Okay. So, okay, good. Thank you for reminding me, guys. Yes. That to shout at you about reading everything. There we go. So, okay. Um, my ship is... I shake my ship somewhere on the other side of the... Other side of the planet, right? I'm assuming because of the snow, this here is a, a pole, basically. Uh oh. Just got away with that one. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me, and I imagine it disappears. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Right, so that's the moon around uh, the. Well, it could be. Uh, no, Hollow's Lantern is the moon around here, except. Oh, hang on. We did pass a. We did pass a. a thing. We did pass a thing. We passed, uh, there was a little grey moon. Maybe, maybe every single planet has like a... Every planet's a quantum moon? No, every planet has a quantum moon. Because as we were oh. coming into this planet, there was a little grey moon. I passed and said, oh, don't worry, I'll go and visit you later. There was a second moon. Possibly every planet has a quantum moon. I suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Hypothesis, that, uh... There can exist too much lava. Strong just we test the null hypothesis. Imagine there'd be none of us left. Okay. I I passed that moon as we came in. I passed that moon as we came in. There was a little grey moon just outside Brittle Hollow. So it's possible literally every planet has a secondary fake moon. That beyond the moon that we're expecting it to have. That is possible. I don't know if that's true, but that's two planets that have, like, fake moons on them. People also wanted to remind you that um, when you're talking about where you are on the planet, there is literally a map of where you are on the planet. Yeah. On the screen at the time that indicates the poles as well. Yeah, and I found a big glowy thing that looks okay. like a giant rosebud, so I'm just <laughs> going to go look at that because that entertains me. Okay, well, while you do that, I am uh -oh. going to go and uh -oh. get us some cookies, okay? Acceptable. I have made an executive decision. Do you need more water? Uh, I'm, are you good? I'm good for the time being. Okay. Cookies! Alright, so, big thing. And yeah, I'm, I'm roughly back on the equator. Because yeah, I can, I do have the north and south poles. Wait, all planets have a... Wait. Is north and south just, like, a thing exclusively, like, pertaining to Earth? Like... Does north and south in terms of like... Is that like... Is magnetic field universal? That's... Ooh. Also, there was an explosion over there. Right. Is everybody unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No one able to make contact. The equipment can't hear the other two escape pods. Distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Every bracious of swiftly. Volcanic moon has returned. Be careful of falling ash and debris. Believe the moon has passed. 
planet doesn't appear eager to have uh, guests. We're certainly unwelcome on the surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I've observed several promising sites below the surface. We need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Okay, well, I've seen those platforms. They're not exactly in great shape. And unidentified signal. Okay, escape pod one. This is apparently Lake Tiny escape pod. And it's presumably trying to broadcast out a signal. And there's a little volcanic moon. And that's a giant bit of... Okay, don't get hit by that. That's that's what we've learnt here. And I believe this is the... I believe I've been here before. This is what I passed through previously. Yeah, this is... I've totally found this location before. Last time I was passing by Brittle Rock, just in passing, I totally found this place. Uh, I think I just kind of visited here... Pretty much at random, but I do vaguely remember it, yes. Do you want a fancy cookie? I'm okay for the time being. Okay, man. So yeah, there's escape pods. Various escape pods. Ship logs update it. I swear I'd already scanned you. Emergency escape patch. Right, well let's crack her open. Thank you. And okay, that's not in some ways not useful because there's there's things here. Can... Yeah. The parity of North and South is arbitrary is Arbitrary? Arbitrary? Arbitrary, yeah, that, Arbitrary. that's a word, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to actually pronounce it. But use caution, there's a black hole down there, don't slip. Yeah, okay, I, I, can see, um, I can see the problem. Yeah, anything that spins has an axis that it rotates around. Okay, yeah. Magnetic field uh, flips from time to time on Earth. Some planets don't have a magnetic field at all. Okay. The poles are based on the axis that the body orbits on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. Um, of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. This temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impact. And yeah, this, these, these steps fall apart. Hello. There's a thing over here. I find you interesting. This is okay. Hello. The knowledge is too dear to lose. Uh, here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looks like an egg, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. Okay. The eye of the universe. They were okay. looking. They were looking for the eye of the universe. They built this station that explodes at the very beginning the game begins blasting some like the probe out beyond the reaches of space and yeah despite the fact that these are all all ancient ruins their technology was still working seconds ago because as we know now time is messy no no my clan has ever encountered anything like it how can anything in this universe be older than the universe imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer we must find the eye of the universe fine and we know that the way they tried to do it was they built a massive they built the thing outside Giant's Deep. The construction yard was down on the ocean. They launched it from orbit at the moment the game begins. I'm glad you're taking this seriously and getting the properly chat, invested in the story. The chat is losing its flipping mind because it was talking about how the thing was the shape of an eye and you read egg instead of eye. Okay. You did that. The egg of so, the universe. The egg of the universe. The egg of the exactly. universe, Claire. That's what we're after. Yeah. We're after the egg of the universe. I think we're all oh after the God. egg. The and egg. now for Halloween, John is a carton of eyes. I am the egg of the universe, Claire. That's what I am. <laughs> oh my God, you weren't full enough of yourself already. <laughs> I am the Shout egg of the Steven, universe. Shout out to Stephen who says, Funny you should mention definite articles at the start of the stream. Well, every planet has a quantum moon, but how about the quantum moon? Mm. Oh. I don't know. That's interesting, because you're right. The two moons I've seen are grey. They've, they've been roughly the same comparable size and grey, just like... And those quantum rocks I've been seeing, it's not different ones, it's always the same one. Mm -hmm. Also, I think, my, I think my ship's just been hit, by the way. Nice. <laughs> Wherever my ship is, it's just been hit. Given concerns about our settlement stability, we should construct a new, less temporary shelter. We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messengers. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. So yeah, the, at some point the Nomai crash landed here. They built a bit of a temporary settlement. 
they discovered the egg of the universe, the all-important <laughs> egg of the universe. Very important. Um, you can see why I was giggling. I don't believe anyone's coming to save us. That we must save ourselves. Yeah, and they built the. They built like that's what the the big light coming off the escape pod one is. They were trying to signal to the Nomai, but no one came. I agree. We came here because the egg signal called to us, and we followed. If. We <laughs> <laughs> We're to find it. We need to not merely survive, uh, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. Uh, if moving to the Northern Glacier will keep us safer, that is what we should do. Right, Northern Glacier is where the main is where the primary settlement should is where we'd expect the primary settlement to be. And <laughs> speculation: these guys were just passing through the solar system. Mm -hmm. They crashed. This is the first Nomai settlement. But while they were here. They actually discovered the egg of the universe. And as a result of discovering the egg of the universe, they decided to stay. This is the first Know My Settlement. All subsequent ones are yeah. more recent, having decided to stay to do this. And yeah, they said, build a path using crystals. So if I logically follow this crystal path, this should lead me. Yeah, I appear to be going towards the north right now, looking at the little mini-map. So this presumably leads to, via walking on like the... The sea link leads to, um, yeah, their northern, their northern thing. Stay close to the crystals. I don't want to fall into a black hole. Not that it really matters, because they built a massive white hole station, so it's a-okay. Where's the... Okay, I followed your crystals. Where's the rest of it? Okay. Um, possibly this bit fell off. I'm suspecting... Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Uh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Claire, I feel this is gonna go badly. I'm not dead yet. No, I am dead, okay. Gravity was. Who had yeeting as a cause of death this time around? <laughs> that was self yeeting, thank you. The chat is uh, engaged in a very deep theological debate about who came first, the egg of the universe or the chicken <laughs> of the universe. Well, you know, I've answered the question where they say, how could anything be older than the egg of the universe? Chicken of the universe. <laughs> Boom! Solved it! Solved the game! It's a giant chicken! It's the answer! Okay, so... Working theory. The quant Just like every rock is the same rock, just constantly on the move, the quantum moon is the same moon, constantly on the move. So, as a result of that, if we ever catch sight of the moon at all, then it's- we're gonna be able- we can lock it down. So, logically, it must be somewhere. But I feel like we should go and, yeah, one, just get up into space once we're nice and free. Just have a scan around. Somebody must have the moon. I mean, and I think that's not it because Timber Half, I think, comes with its own moon. I'm pretty sure Timber Half comes with its own moon. So that is, yeah, that's the Atle Rock. The Atle Rock is always present. That is not the moon. That, however, is... Hello. Who are you? Because you're not officially named. Also, um, just, just just, take a quick photo of that. I think we might have found it right away. Is that the moon? Well, it's a moon that is not identified with any name. And we've got a photo of it locked down. So I'm going to work under the assumption it might be. I mean, it's very small. It's really small. It's tiny, in fact. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Careful, because your photo went away. Yeah, exactly. Okay, got a photo of it. So now even if I go into it, I'm fine for the time being. Now what is it? Well, or is it just gas? Ah! It's not just gas. Can confirm, not just gas. But, and I'm also not dead. Which is pretty good. Okay, well now I'm on it. It can't... Oh. I hope it can't disappear with you on it. Okay, I keep, mean... keep it in sight. Keep it in sight. Keep it in sight. Am I wearing my suit? Oh shit, I'm not wearing my suit. Um, fuck. 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 It better not be about to cloud. I'm not wearing my suit. And I can't... I can't keep a photo up with... You stay right the fuck there! Okay. Good. So, 
Unidentified signal nearby. Quantum moon. I think we're on the quantum moon right now. Woohoo! Okay, quantum moon. The signal is 72 meters away no matter where I move. Is that the core of the quantum moon? Because that would be very small. Yes, presumably it is, because when I boost away, gravity, there is no gravity on this planet, though. Gravity is zero, yet I just came back down again. Gravity is 0.4 when you're underground. Ah, it said zero a second ago. Yeah, because you were like... Interesting. You're right, this is... Hello. Well, I found a building, and this place is very small, so all right. Light it up. Alright, boys. What we got? You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. I have. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of quantum entitlement. The sixth location. What's the sixth location? Wait a minute, look at these, because there's six of them. So there's the Eye of the Universe in six. Okay, that's, yeah, that's um, the Hourglass Twins. That will be, that's Timber Half, because it's got plants on it. That'll be Brittle, Gas Giant, Thing, the um, the bram be, Bramble Thing, I think. That'll be the one with the jellyfish. Yeah, uh, no, that's the one with the jellyfish, Giant Steep. Okay, that, so that's, that's Bramble, that. that's Bramble one. And then that's either the Eye of the Universe or the Interloper. <laughs> the Interloper is the Interloper is the only thing. The Interloper is the only thing yeah. that is further out than that. Sorry, John, apparently um, it said quantum entanglement and you read quantum entitlement. You gotta get over there with this quantum entitlement. <laughs> it's pretty crucial. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to close the door behind me. Is that a good idea? Well, I can let myself back out if I need to. I just know it makes a difference. thing is, I don't know... What is that and can you move it? There's this over here that I can move up and down. Okay. Is that like turning the power off before you do repairs on something? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering whether that would let me move it because... Remem recall the rule of the sixth location. The rule of the sixth location... I mean, okay. The, uh, the only things further out than Bramble is White Station and the Interloper. And that's it. The rule of the sixth. And we know the rules of quantum imaging. If I take a picture of something, it cannot disappear. And then there's a picture of the actual tower itself. Okay. Rule of quantum entanglement. Things, uh, things well. Quantum uh, entanglement is a physical phenomenon that occurs when pairs or groups of particles are generated, interact, or share spatial proximity. Yeah, I don't get what that means. Okay, hang on, hang on. just Google it with simple Wikipedia. No, no, it's fine. Hang on. Look, recall the rule of the sixth location. There's a picture. That's White That's white Station. That mm -hmm. is White Station because it, it is clearly a floating station of know my architecture. Now, the rule of, no, of that station was if you look up in the sky and things align correctly, you will be teleported somewhere. That was the rule. We read it just today. Okay. And presumably, therefore, this here is a teleportation device, and... No, this isn't a switch. Claire, I know what this is. Okay. This is not a switch. This is an indicator. This is saying which planet is the quantum moon currently orbiting around. Oh. And the answer oh, is, it's outside Timber Half, because we just caught it outside Timber Half. Do you want to know what quantum entanglement is, though? Well, I'm vaguely aware of the concept of the idea that two molecules, uh, two atoms, even though they can be any distance apart, an effect on one will have an identical result on the other because they are paired. I'm, I'm aware of the concept. Okay, fine. Be all fancy and sciencey and shit. It's also in Mass Effect 2. Um, oh, that's what you know about it. And I'm just clever. So this mm, is an in. That's not what cleverness is, though. Like, knowing about... The sixth location rule is, yeah, the thing about... Something about looking up and being teleported somewhere. The rule of quantum imaging, that we've been to. We've seen that. Okay, if you take a picture of something, oh, no. an image of something is the same as the thing. 
So there. <laughs> so therefore. Uh, uh, hey John, I don't know if this is um, a spoiler or not, but uh, everyone is pointing out that everything you just said is wrong. Uh huh. So it's not that wrong. Okay. Um. Let me. Okay. The rule of quantum imaging means that if I have a photo of this up, the the moon cannot move. The moon cannot move because I have an image of the moon in the position where the indicator indicates outside timber half. Therefore, it cannot it cannot operate. And oh, I don't like that. That's weirdly dark. Okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. Have a think about this. Continue having a think about this because there's more than one tower. That's the thing. I'm just going to take a picture of this tower, and then we're going to go over to another... No, there's not more than one tower. There's... There's more than one something. I'm just going to check what else is here, because that's, that's something different. And this is going to hold that tower in place, otherwise that tower is going to run away from me. And this planet is tiny. Now, okay, for the time being, this planet is... I've probably just lost it, because it just went away because my translator came out, so that's good. Uh, know my recording. Uh, I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is true. Okay, as a child I considered such unknown sinister. Now I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. I am ready. Okay, and that's true based on what we can see there. Okay. So, yeah, just... Where the cock am I? Right, Brittle Hollow. I've walked to Brittle Hollow. Oh, okay. And I'm still in the same ship, though. Except, no, I'm... Okay. Try the left. And now... Now I'm in space, close by to... Brittle Hollow's volcanic moon. Try to... No, no, to get, 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 get up there. Get up there, you. That doesn't do anything. Try the middle again. Where... Where am I now? Okay, I recognise this. This is Brittle Hollow. So! That's... This guy has a... A ship that can just... Also, he's got one of these things. One of these warp you places things. And also his ship's about to be hit by things. Okay. Um... So that's a thing that happens. His ship just goes... Places. And takes you off the quantum moon. I'm really confused right now. I'm by really the confused way. why this ship just completely screws you over and takes you away from the, the quantum moon and then gives you no ability to get back. That's that's kind of a bit of a dick thing to do. Game. Um, but yeah, now I'm back in the the undercity, close by. So yeah, there's the black hole over there. Okay, activate gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Okay, call shuttle home. If the shuttle's not here. Okay, so that shuttle can be moved. Activate the gravity cannon. So those are the two positions it can be in. 
It can be all the way out there, or it can be summoned back, but also it can be... There we go, summon it back. So those are the positions I can move it in with its controls, but also it's just... It's just not there anymore. Okay, that's odd. Also, I think that might be what I activated or where I've been previously. No, you're going to do anything? I don't know. Right, I'm going to try to figure out where I am for a second. Claire, all yours. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, Sarah, who gave us 50 Swedish krona and has finally managed to catch a live stream. It's been a good while. I'm so glad to be back. One good thing about this godforsaken cold. Sigh. Better that than heat waves. Give me cold any day of the week. No, I think uh, Sarah's saying she has a cold ah. and therefore is stuck in bed rather than doing exciting things. Makes sense. Uh, shout out also to Charlie who gives two pounds and says, I don't care about you! Uh, uh, quoting you, presumably saying you didn't care about the, the moon, the quantum moon. Mm -hmm. uh, and Charlie says, I take back my previous comment where I said you were so lucky that... Uh, that uh, you might have been playing this game for three months and trolling us by pretending not to know anything. Mm-hmm. No, uh, I no. I think that comment is well, well taken uh, taken away now. I think we've we've proved over uh -oh. and over again. Oh, well done, love. No, it's fine. It's, everything's under control. I just need to... Is it, though? I just need to not hit the black hole. I just need to land onto this. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to slow down a bit more there. But I was... <laughs> I was I was separated from my ship, so I, this this works. Who had rumming face first into a pillow while avoiding? That's just self yeeting a second hole. time. Yeah, that's, that's fair. just further self yeeting. Further self yeeting. If you had further self yeeting, okay. People want you to um, read the ship's log now on this loop. Good idea. Probably a very good idea. Get caught up. Though after that, I'm going back to the. Um, the instructions that take me to the quantum tower oh. instructions back on Brittle Hollow. Shout out to Zykoria who says, oh, he landed with his face. I did. It, it is well hearted. Uh, shout out to Paul Wilson who gave us $5 and says, tornadoes, the universe randomly destroying itself. Have any self-destructing teens been inexplicably surviving their own stupidity? God damn it, Max. <laughs> quantum shrine. Solanum shuttle, gravity cannon. Yeah. Okay. I I'm aware of all those things. I don't see anything. Can you read more from that though? Can you? I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. There's more to explore here. And a no my name Solanum lands in her shuttle at the quantum moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest journey on foot. Fits the quantum moon always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown. And a no my shrine that wanders the quantum moon. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging, recall the rule of quantum entanglement, recall the rule of the sixth location. And a huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field, that's a gravity cannon. No, I feel like that's about broadly what I was expecting oh, to see. But would I'm there be logs in various places telling you which is the sixth location? Well, That's what no, I was I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we know the sixth location yeah, based no, on the, the drawing. Chat is... has said you were wrong about what it is. But there was a drawing that specifically showed the white, it's, the white it station. It wasn't the white hole, it was a black hole. But there's nothing around the black. Well, the, no, the black hole isn't that far out in space. The black hole is, the black hole is in Brittle Hollow. It leads to White Station and the White Hole. Okay, I'm going to go and make sure I understand the quantum business because Brittle Hollow has that Tower of Quantum Learning that's separate from the Tower of Quantum Trials that we didn't get to last time. So I'm going to go and visit that because I feel like that's a good thing. That's a very good thing to go and visit. And here we go, we're approaching this and... Uh-oh, Claire, Claire, we might be coming a bit fast. Claire, we might be coming a bit... And uh, Razek points out that the first thing that you read out uh, f from um, the first thing in, in, the, in the ship's log that you read out said um, you have already recalled the rule of quantum imaging, but then the other two rules were saying you must recall those rules. You don't remember them yet. Mm -hmm. Like you in the game haven't like properly come across them yet. 
Okay, well, we'll repair we'll repair some of this later. I'm sure it's it's mostly fine. It's 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 okay. I mean, that's that's it's barely sparking at all. In many ways, we're absolutely okay, and we're already pretty much on. Okay, we're pretty much on the. Yeah, we want to be on the equator. We just need to find our way to where we were last time. So we just need to make our way to exactly the equator and then follow it round to where we want to go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Claire. Claire, there might be about to be a small amount of self-yeeting again. No, we're fine. Oh, we're back here. I didn't even want to be here. This is exactly where I didn't want to be. Unless this sign can help me out by any chance. Hello. The Southern Observatory. Oh, that's exactly where I wanted to go. Oh, great. Except that just said south a certain number of things. Hello. South? I mean, south is... That, I'm, I'm facing south. Okay, just go in here. It, it, it. Okay, I want to go the other way, actually. Ah, that's direction, not destination. Right, okay. Just take me, take me to the thing. I, I mean, the sign looked like it was leading down here. And I'm going south. I'm going south right now, I think. So this seems good. This seems very good. I just don't know which of these things I want. And presumably... Presumably this, right? And well, this is not a safe public transport network in the slightest. Wait, are you dying right now? Or are you no, just... I'm pretty sure I'm in my space suit. Oh, okay, that's fine then. There what was were... that thing that just flew past you? No, yeah, no. It flew past very fast. Okay, hang on. While we're out here. While we're out here. Okay, well, Sorrow says that he, uh, they don't want to say what the picture actually represents. The one that you says is a white hole, but it's not a white hole. Um, just so as not to spoil it. But yeah. it's not the white hole, and you've already seen it and named it during this year live stream. It's very big and obvious. You just are not placing it right now. Okay, well if it's this over here, like around the white thing, then this is all the stuff that's circling the white hole. Okay. I mean, there's this, it could be the ship. It could be the observatory, the ship that blows up right at the beginning. I went there and there was a load of stuff going on. Shout out to Jessica who says blunt force trauma is a bigger danger to John than the universe exploding. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. I, don't, I don't live long enough to, to die there. There's a bunch of stuff around around here. Okay. I mean, this is, this is just a bit of rock that fell off, that's fallen off what's it face, and there's, yeah, there's, there's nothing much there. Then there's, then there's yeah, that's that's the white station over. That's the white hole station over there. So we know about that too. So that's all absolutely fine. The only other thing this far out in space beyond the bramble is, well, technically, technically the the. Hmm. I mean, there's no, there's no black hole out here. There's a white hole. There's clearly a cocking white hole. The only black hole out here is, and the white hole leads, to, the black hole leads to the white hole. The black hole is in Brittle Watts it face. That's that's where that is. That's so. Hmm. Hmm. I can just hope might be able to use this to. No. 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 Let me let me get 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 over here. Right. Let's just get over here and. Get inside, and we'll use this to teleport back to Brittle Hollow, because we can do that. It, 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 yeah. And then, yeah, I should be able to teleport back. There we go. Lovely. And then, yeah, if I just look up, this is the right place to look up, isn't it? Or do I have to activate a thing first? This is, yeah, to Brittle Hollow. There we go. Do I have to activate that first? Dunno. Shout out to Mikesh in the chat who says, How can one man be so wrong and so right at the same time? It, it, it takes a, take a, practice. A, a question I ask myself reasonably regularly about you. This doesn't seem to be... 
trying to do something I haven't done yet. Yes. Wait till the tower. I swear there was more in it last time. Yeah, keep it, keep it going. And if you look at the station while the look, if you look at while the station is rotating, you see the alignment happens. Yeah. Why isn't the station? Why isn't the station rotating? Oh, do I need to? I need to power it, don't I? We need to. We need to do the thing. We need to provide the station with power. So yes. There. We, no. No. Shove the power in there. Right. Now. Now it's get get back in there. Get back in there. Now the station's rotating. Right, now I understand. Now I understand. Yes, that's that's the rule. That's the rule. Right there. So now in a moment it will finish its rotation and it will blast me back to Brittle Hollow. Okay, that's now I understand how that fits together a bit better. Yes. And uh, ship. There we go. Right, back where I wanted to be, kind of. Uh, back on the planet with my broken, broken-ass ship. And this is... Ah! This takes me back to the northern, and we were told... Remember we read in the notes in the city? Hey, we should go hide in, like, the northern glacier. That's where this is. I'm on the North Pole right now. That's what all these buildings I saw are. So, okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's good to know. That's a very useful thing to know right now. That's what all of these things are. So now I just need to make my way to the Southern Observatory, like, again. How did that kill me? That, I think I just fell over and just cracked my face on, on a rock. Well done. You're so tired. I don't even know how that one happened. I'm really confused by that one. <sighs> that was an odd one right there. Okay, this time we're not going to crash into Brittle Rock. Mm -hmm. We're not. You say this. We're you not. Say this, we're not. You... I'm going to slow down ahead of time sufficiently. Will you though? Yes, I will. I'm going to put my spacesuit on now just for safety. Right, go, 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 Right, leave that behind. There she goes. Right, we're heading straight at her. Right, in fact, I think she's heading in this direction. So now, yeah, we're just going to slow down. Match speed, because I think she's already coming at us. There we go. Okay, now just very slowly make my way in. And aim for the equator. And then once we get close enough, look for that landing spot. Because that landing spot led to signs to the Quantum Tower. Admittedly, the signs to the Quantum Tower kind of screwed me over last time. But, you know, it, it's worth a go. Claire, all yours. Yeah, shout out to Urban Cohort, who gave us $6.66 and says, um, What was, will be. What will be, was. I love the worm. Also, glory to Zarklan. Damn straight. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a small lava planet there, but I did avoid it, so that's fine. Right, now we just rotate around the outside of this. I know where that is. I've seen you before. You're the escape ship. That's where you crashed. And now, yeah, that's the that's the city. And presumably, that's the gravity cannon that we've seen mentioned, because that's there. Now, just keep rotating around the outside of the planet, and sooner or later, we should see the... Yeah, the, the trees and the landing spot. That's what that is. Hang on, there's... I should be going around the right angle. Where's the... There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Right, okay. So now we just need to come in on this. Match speed. Match, 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 match. And now we just come in. So now we can just come in nice and easy on the landing pad. I'm using my landing camera, Claire. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Coming in nice. I should use this more often. Yeah, it's, it's like it's useful for, you know. Boom. Purpose they told you it was for. Damn straight. Okay. So, now I'm going to follow the signs to the quantum thing. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, the the, the, quant the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I'm going down to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge so I understand this this game's exact understanding of quantum entitlement. Because we need to understand what the quantums think they're entitled to. Like, yeah. is, it, is it healthcare benefits? Is it 
paying Everybody conditions? Is it pensions? Mm hmm. And, okay. This way. Yes, yeah, Southern Observatory, 550 meters in this direction. So, presumably, I just keep following uh, the relevant path uh, to get over there. And again, there's, there's a small amount of uh, explosions. I mean, this is the only path it could be referring to, right? And, yeah, go in this direction. Yeah, that's now going... No, that's... I need to be... Not recall. I need to go out. So now I need to... I'm really hoping this is going to take me south. Like, quite south. And I just need to remember to hop out at the right moment and... What? No! No! Unacceptable! It just dumped me in the cocky... I followed the signs! I followed the cocking signs! I was just... There was one sign that said, go this way for Southern Observatory, 550 meters. I did that. I did that. I followed the only way it could possibly have referred to. It says, it's so difficult to follow cocking instructions in this game because all the paths go all over the cocky place. Okay, this is fine. I can get back to where I want to be nice and easily down through... Uh, Wait, so can the chat tell us what happened there, or...? There, there was just one path that just cocky dumps you in the cocky black hole. You have to take the stairs. I don't take the stairs. I don't like a Does fucking it pleb. Does actually say that you should take the stairs? Like, I did take the take stairs. The there were stairs. I went down the stairs. I totally Up went the down... the stairs. I, I used some form of stairs. Stairs were involved in my thought process. Okay. Back up. This should now be rotating. Now I can just wait here and be blasted back to thingy McJib Jib. Not the white top. There we go. Claire, all yours while we just wait for it to rotate into the right position. Yeah, shout out to uh, Nisha Haiken who uh, gave us $5 and says, I'm dropping by to deposit your Zarkland Day money. Happy Zarkland Day, everybody. Happy Zarkland Day, everybody. We know when we're going to be in the right position because the, we're gonna, it's going to tell us how we're pointing at our ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once cocky more, but Reading now... the sign and following the signs are not the same thing? In, in some ways they are. Now, okay, I need to find my... Oh yeah, where's my ship? I need to... I need, just need to work towards... If I just go towards my ship, then logically, then that will lead me into the... Oh, cocking hack. Okay, yeah, this is... This is also the bit of the planet that gets occasionally, like, you know, bombed uh, by its own moon, which is a bit of a problem. Yes, I'm just going to basically go and find my ship. If I just go, if I go and find my ship, then we should be fine. And that's fine. That didn't hurt. Right. This is just going to be a little bit of a quick walk. Claire, all yours while we're doing that. Ow! Shout out to Sam Tex in the chat who says, uh, you know what quantum entitlement, you know what quantum entitlement is, John? Quantum entitlement is saying, I don't take the stairs like a fucking pleb. <laughs> <laughs> That Maybe would they make a fair point. That would imply that there was like a second John who was equally entitled. Which uh, I'm not okay. sure whether you consider a second John to be a good thing or a bad thing. Oh my god. Oof. There are pros and cons. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, shout out to Sosome in the chat who says you should use the scout to check where something will lead you to. You should use the scout to check where something will lead you to before going there yourself. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm like literally. You need the scout. I am going... That's not a bad idea. I'm going to let the chat help me here. Okay. So, and I'm going to use Claire with your excellent map reading abilities. Okay. Tower of... Entered, uh, entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge below 90 meters. Okay. Let's go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge down 90 meters. We're going to take this thing. It's going to take me down. All right. That's what we want to do. So, we are going down by 90 meters. So, we know that this is the entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, okay? And I can make it go up to get back out of here. And we know, Kriya, we've seen this bit before here. So, above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Room, ascend these stairs and obtain the last knowledge you need for your journey. And we do need more knowledge because we need to understand that. So, okay. You need to uh, ascend these stairs. Okay, stairs. And I can indeed ascend stairs, except, small problem... There's... The path is broken. Okay. Also, apparently, you don't need to look up to something in order to teleport. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we got a bit of an issue here. Which is, I'm supposed to be going up to here. Yep. But, I can't get up to there because the you can walk on wall material has fallen off. And I don't have enough jet fuel even close to get up there. The gravity is relatively harsh. So I see where I'm... Start? Can you try and see if maybe something comes up? Huh? Can you start that walk and then yeah. see if... Yeah, if you just go over here and nothing, you just get stuck there. You just get end up and bloodling against the wall. And can you jet pack from here? No. Not even close. And you also get blasted backwards, which is not helpful. Hmm. I mean, I could try... I mean, I could... Okay. Now I know that I need to go up. There is an up right here. Okay, I'm going to take this up, back up, and then we can keep an eye on other ways that might lead into that thing. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. I might be able to just hop out and hop back in somewhere. Because, yeah, this is... This is the interior. This is where I need to get to. So okay, I can launch the scout straight in here. I can use that to have a little bit of a loopsy round. Look for holes in the wall, etc. I don't see oh. it. Hey, John, can you get your, your like spaceship into that big shaft thingy where there's no wall walking material and you need to go up? You might be able to do that with the spaceship. That would be harsh. I mean, it's possible, but... but do you have anything else that can like fly or do zero gravity? Just me. Uh, but in this in this gravity environment, it's not really going to fly. Uh, and yeah, I don't see any broken walls or anything. Is that the oh, is that how it's done? Is it you just literally fly your ship up know. there? I mean, also, how would I get my ship? Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm, oh, okay, hang well. on. I've got a plan. If that's if that's possible, then there's one thing I can do to help guide myself in, which is I can leave my scout. At the point where I'd need to. I'm, so, I'm going to go scout out to see whether I think my ship would even fit. Because I'm feeling like my ship doesn't fit through these... Doesn't fit in that gap. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't fit through that hole either. No, that's not it. That the, can't the be chat it. chat is trying to, like, help you without giving you too many spoilers. But also, I don't know exactly what they're, like, getting to. So I'm finding it difficult to filter. Uh, but people are suggesting that time has something to do with it. Time. Also, that just happened. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm trying very hard to, like, not say too much, but, yeah. Time. People are alluding to the answer to this puzzle, and some people clearly know exactly what you need to do, but they haven't told me, so I'm just like, mm, which bit? That just goes to... And that's just, yeah, backwards and forwards going over to the crossroads, the central bit. I'm just going to check the... I'm going to check the exterior, because you can actually get outside the pillars. See if there's, like, an, a bit around the outside. Yeah, I mean... No. Let us know if you want... Uh, let us know if you want people this to actually say something. It's a quantum tower. This is yeah. a quantum tower, which would logically mean things would appear or disappear. But nothing seems to change. I checked this place before. Nothing seems to change whether I'm looking at it or not. Give me what you think is a hint here. Me or that? Yeah, you. Um, you said the issue is with the gravity? Yes. The gravity is not a fixed thing? Gravity is not fixed. Well, I can change... I can change like this in terms of making gravity move but gravity is there are all things that may happen to this place that might change the gravity of it uh, you can see it is floating directly above a black hole right now which I can see would be potentially advantageous but also you've got like two minutes of airlift or whatever you should go to your ship and like get some oxygen yeah uh. It, that just feels... Okay, it feels like just like a really in... I mean, I just assumed it wasn't come back at the right time because that's a really inelegant solution mm. in a game that's generally very, very elegant indeed. So I was kind of... I, I'd almost like completely discounted, oh, just come back at 5pm on Tuesday and it will work because that's, that's a really basic bitch solution to what's been otherwise a very, very clever, elegant game. 
So I kind of didn't even assume that was a possibility. Like, you know, you're right. As this is a game on a 20-minute cycle, there's nothing to say that, you know, it might not be something as simple as that. It just feels really odd that that would be... That would even be a possibility in this game. Mm. But I've got my oxygen back anyway. I've got plenty of oxygen now. Because there's some trees at the top. And then, yeah, this thing is literally on top of it. Like, literally, I can see down into where I need to be. So, I guess I can I can use the, use the scout right there. Yeah, I think a, a couple of people in chat are saying that's not exactly inelegant. Like, they don't really get why you think that's particularly inelegant. Because there's no way you would... Unless I've, like, missed something obvious, there's... There's no way to intuit by looking at the environment, hey, next Tuesday, then this but will be open, but it's not now. To check on it. What? That's why you, you leave your scout and you... To, to, to check on that, you wait, you come back. People are saying a lot of the puzzles in this game are time-based. There's a lot of timey-wimey stuff going on. Yeah, but, like, say, if you consider, like, the Hourglass Twins, like... That, because it doesn't matter whether you go at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the cycle, new stuff is being revealed constantly. If this is purely a case of, I just have to go somewhere else until a certain period of time, that's relatively inelegant. Because it means the game's basically just saying, oh, you can't do it now. Just go and well, do something else. Well, there are events that, apparent, uh, Jacob says there are events that occur repeatedly at certain times throughout the time loop. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I've got a little scout here. Hello, go and have a look. See. Okay, so people are saying, you know, when you say unless you've missed something obvious, it is relatively obvious that the environment and the world is literally falling apart around that tower. Yes. You, we saw it because this massive like space rock fell through the tower. So yeah. that's how you can tell that the tower is going to fall through a white hole and then there's no gravity. Right. Okay, I guess. So we just don't do this now? We just do something else? Yeah, we just wait. People have been telling you to wait and just go and like refuel and get your... Get the fuel up. Get the fuel up, get your oxygen and all that. Hmm. Alright, fine. I was singing this game's praises. I think it, it's an absolutely extraordinary work of art, but I think that's a boring ass bullshit way of doing a, a thing. Just, yeah, you just need to just, you know, come back later. I think that's a really boring way of doing that, but alright, fine. Uh I'll go top up fuel and we'll see if it's happened when we're done. We've been we must be a fair way into this cycle. We can't be can't be too much longer until we're yeah, Ready I think go. people are trying to really. I think people are trying to be really um, thoughtful in the chat. You know, pe people are being thoughtful and are trying to explain all of this. You know, in a way that's like addressing what you're saying, but also not saying exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, not saying exactly the whole thing because you said you didn't want yeah. to spoil. Yeah, true, true, um, true, true. And so you know, I think it just fell through. By the way. Hmm. I think everything just fell through. Oh. Oh, this is weird. I think I was immediately killed by the ship falling through the thing and then some form of gravity giblets. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. I think I did. I'm officially blaming people who said go back to the ship to top up your fuel because I was in the ship went to top up my fuel and as a result of that I was thrown by the ship falling through the thing and then immediately died. So that one's on you guys. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean... It's interesting because I think that the puzzly part of it is to figure out Oh, well, if I just come back later, it'll work, and why? Yes. You know? The puzzly part of it is not, like, figure out the exact time or whatever. The puzzly part of it is, why is it that it won't work at this time, but it might work at a different time? I mean, I, yeah, I assume what happened at the end there was my ship fell through the black hole into a while, then immediately slammed into something that had just fallen through, and that threw me with such velocity, mm -hmm. I just died. 
Um, so that's that's a thing. I'm going somewhere else. I'm not. I'm not waiting for that. Uh, what have we got? I'm gonna try and find the moon. I'm gonna try and find the. If I can, if I can hunt down the quantum moon, because we know it's got to be. It has to be somewhere. Because if it plays by the rules of the quantum stuff, then it can't be nowhere. It might move between planets, <laughs> but it can't be nowhere. Uh, so there's the Zek of the West in chat who says, Has he seen the thing in the thing where you have to do the thing in another thing in order to do the thing yet? Makes sense to me. Which seems very much like this game to me. I'm sorry, it's very beautiful, but like, I'm so confused because I can only listen to half of what John's saying because I'm trying to read the chat. <laughs> And I was just like, no, what is this? That's Atle Rock, isn't it? Or is that is that Atle Rock or is that? Yeah, that's Atle Rock. Uh, you know what? Slow it down, 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 slow it down. Hang on, I think that might be it over there. I think that might be it over there. Yep, I think that's it. It's it's outside Bramble right now. Uh Or it was. Yes, it is still there. I'm pretty sure Bramble doesn't normally have a moon, so I think that's it. So I'm gonna go have a little look see at the moon. Because if nothing else, I mean we have to we have to wait for the stupid thing to fall through the white to the black hole into the white hole. So I'm going to try and hunt down the moon. We know we now okay, we now know, even though that guy in his stupid ship completely screwed me over, we now know you always land on the South Pole. Therefore, logically, if we walk to the North Pole then that's probably good. Right? I think yes. Okay. Um, do you want questions to work on? Or is that too spoilery? No, I think that's too specific. And okay. don't you... Oh, 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 Okay, keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it, keep watching it, keep watching it. Don't, 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 don't let it get away. Don't let it get away. Come back here, you. Come back. You're not getting away from me. You're not getting away from me. Slightly overshot it there. It's fine. I'm, I'm going to go to the North Pole. Cause if, okay, if, it, if it's on the South, then something must be happening in the North. Something must be happening in the North. And now we're, now we're following it, which is the good position I want to be in. We always know we're going to arrive on the South, so that's absolutely fine. And now slow it down, 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 even more, slow it down, even more, slow it down, even more. And now we're pretty close. Now we're pretty close. Now we're pretty close. Okay, then. Get that, get that, get that. Right. Bring it in. And now it doesn't matter where we land, because apparently you always land in exactly the same spot. So, slow it down. And now we're just going to launch a landing camera. And sooner or later, we'll land. What? What is this? The landing camera fucked me over. The landing camera completely fucked me. Fuck you, landing camera. Okay, this is the last time I try and land with any form of actual camera. Fuck. Fuck you, landing camera. You fucked me. You absolutely fucked me. I was... I, I had it. I was there on it. And then the cocking landing camera apparently doesn't count as looking at it. Right, next time we just slam into it. Last, Next time we just slam well, into it. Next time you have to take a picture of the moon, don't you? Also, there's the interloper. Because of the rule of quantum Im imaging, which you know. Stupid quantum entitlement. And also, can we actually catch the interloper? I mean, literally, the interloper's... Actually, the interloper's right here. That's kind of fun. We can try and land on a comet in flight. That's good. Yeah, I like this comet better. It, it doesn't try and screw me over. And it's also really tiny. It's absolutely tiny. Okay. We're going to try... We're, gonna, we've, we're right here. We're right flipping here. Okay. I mean, I thought if I was still looking at it, it was fine. So I just assumed we would be okay. And just gentle, gentle, gentle. Nice and easy. Pop it down. Out we come. Right, so now we're on a comet. I'm already wearing my suit. Open the hatch. Okay. 
So this this thing is tiny. It's absolutely tiny. But yeah, presumably there's something going on here. And yeah, I, I, I falsely accused this thing of being responsible for the destruction of the ship at the beginning. But no, it's just an unrelated blue thing. Uh, so... Okay, and there's got to be something here, right? I'm on the... I arrived pretty much close to the South Pole. Alright, keep on keeping on. I swear I saw something, but this is... Very... Very quiet. Right, I'm just going to try and find something here. Claire, all yours. Yeah, shout out to Sherman who gave us $5 and says, I was too interested in your stream to notice that a thunderstorm had moved in until lightning struck across the street. I hope you turned this off and turned your computer off and, like, made yourself safe. Yes. In whatever way uh, people do for, for thunderstorms. But I know that includes turning off computers. So yes. I hope you hear that, like, on the VOD and not during the stream. <laughs> dear, oh dear. And shout out also to uh, Grishamal, who gave us 50 Polish uh, Zloty and says, Hi, John and Claire. Long time fan here and I can finally do something for you. As a thank you uh, so, so much for many years of entertainment, keep up the good work. A little smiley face. Thank you very, very much indeed. I, I'd be willing for the chat to tell me whether there's anything even on the the interloper. I feel like I've kind of wandered all over it. I've not seen any, any sign of literally anything. Uh, Dr a dragon says um, the, the thing with the cameras is... Switching cameras takes time, and in that time, you're not looking at the quantum moon. I feel like that's bullshit on toast. Yeah, well, that's what you would say just before you would be eaten by a weeping angel. Oh, I finally found a thing. Hello. I recognise that architecture and technology style. Right, we've got a thing here. Uh, so, untranslated recording. Uh, this is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Uh, even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remains in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I will continue to investigate the surface. Okay. So people say, yes, there are things on the surface, obviously, as you've yeah, seen. Yeah, I've uh, found one now. Some of it is time-based, so... I'm... Wait, I know exactly why. You know what this comet does? Yeah. This comet does a loop, and guess where it goes very close to? Yeah. The sun, and it's yeah. made of ice. I know. Now that makes more sense to me. That makes more sense. I'm happy with that as logic. Okay, so now it's, yeah, it's when it goes to the oh. sun, it'll melt. Dance of the Boreal Valley, that's a lovely name, uh, says, uh, the thing, Claire, is that John didn't even have a picture of the moon in the first place. He never recalled that probe, so the pictures he had were purely black. Mm-hmm. Whoopsie-doo, John. Okay, this is fine. So, yeah, but this is, I assume this is the interlopers first trip out and now it's making its way back in right here. Wouldn't mind landing on that there volcano planet. That there volcano planet looks pretty good. <laughs> ah, Marvellous. Okay, so we need oh, to catch... yes, I think you've got that, people are... Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense because if you just consider its orbit, that makes sense. Like, you see, I'm happy with that puzzle as a concept, because you can literally, you can see it's made of ice, and you can look at its orbit, no matter what time you are in the game, you can look at the orbit and reasonably intuit, ice go near hot thing, therefore melts. Yeah. So that's, that, that makes perfect sense. I think, I just don't see the logical connection with, hey, sooner or later, this thing's going to fall into a thing, and thus the gravity situation is going to be different to us. I just, it doesn't intuitively make as much, like, logic, I, normally this game is very elegant. I just think that particular puzzle, intuitively, I don't think it follows very well. And I need to leave my, I'm going to leave my scout right here, so I can find my way back here. Because I need to make my way back to my ship before okay, I die. do you die. want a tiny spoiler if it's going to avoid uh, some annoying stuff for you? Yes, that's that's a, that's exactly what spoilers are good for. Yes, uh, you should go to the um, hot side of the comet now. There's a hot side of the comet now? 
Well, I mean, there's a side that's like close. There's a side that's going to be facing. Well, there's a side that's... Okay, there's a side that is facing the sun, but it's still a very long way away from the sun. Well, I'm telling you what the chance is. <laughs> that seems weird, because it's like, surely it's more about distance to the sun than anything else. I mean, I see that there's this side is facing the sun, but I, I assumed it would, like, it would make more sense to me if it was based on distance, not facing. But okay... I mean, I, I've already been over this bit. I, I've, I've seen this bit before. So, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is... There's some ice over here. And there's some rocks emerging. I've seen these rocks. So, yeah, I'm, I'm on this side over here. And I've left my scout so I can find my way back to that shuttle. In case I want to get into it later. And I'm still very much on the side that's facing the... That. I'm just going to go yeah. up a bit. People are not fond of your logic, but I think uh, we can uh, we can stop uh, belaboring that argument right there. If it doesn't, w you know, sometimes things don't work for some people and work for other people. Like we, c it's fine. Hmm. We can let John be grumpy about that one thing he didn't like. Okay. Well, I've I'm on the side that's close to the sun right now. I'm not seeing what I'm supposed to see. Uh, I mean, I can hear something. I can hear cracking. I can hear crackling. Ooh, I think I get why they want you to be... Because, okay, so this is a this is made of ice, but also rock. I'm feeling a bit close to the sun here, to be perfectly honest. Jeez. Okay, but if the ice is melting, can you can get to the core of the planet from the ice? From, like... Logically, sure. You no, know, right now you're on the rock, and that rock didn't melt, even though it was well close to the sun. Okay, yeah. And I'm hearing. Well, actually, I'm surprised this much of this ice is even still here, given the close pass we just had with the sun. I'm going to go back to. I'm going to find my way back to the scout. This is where I left the scout where it was. So I'm going to find my way back to the shuttle, which has mysteriously not melted. That's not what I was expecting. We're past the... Yeah, we've done the... We've done the pass. I was... Really expecting that to be... Open now. I think you missed something. But I, w I went to the side of the planet you told me to go to. You said go to the side of the planet I that's... I know, honey. I, I don't... I'm just trying to tell you what they're telling me and I don't know the actual... You know... Okay, but I, 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 I went to the exact place I'm you told me to go, chat. Chat, you told me to go. You told me to go to the side that was facing the sun. I went there and there was nothing there. So, I feel like that, guys, I feel like that one's on you, chat. That one's on you. Uh, but by this point... Okay, but, like, folks, if you had to be standing on the eye, like... He figured it out. He was on the right planet. He figured out exactly that he had to wait until he was near the sun because of the rotation, la di da di da How are you supposed to intuit from the thing, I'm going to stand on the ice when it gets on, like, new? Obviously, you think that you don't want to stand on the ice that's going to melt. If not standing on the ice is enough to miss it, then I think I have to agree with the inelegant comment. I think by now, actually, as we're close by to... Yeah, this area over here. I think we're actually close by to... If we go to White Hole right now, White Hole is presumably... I think we're pretty close to the end of the cycle because the sun's looking a bit more red. So, as a result of that, I think we must be... Hang on, where am I going right now? I must be facing a bit to the right, bit to the right, bit to the right. Where's... Where's White Hole? Where's White Hole? White Hole, you must be around here somewhere. Oh, God, I'm completely lost in space. Uh, yes, there it is. I think the stuff you may... You have to jump in the crevices at the front of whatever. You have to what? You have to... You have to go... You have to jump in the crevices that are full of ice. Okay. So that... Because the, uh, that will melt, but the rock will not. Which I kind of feel like... I have to agree with your earlier statement. Like, there's... It's... That's a really easy thing to miss, I think. Okay, so let's just check in on White Station here. 
Okay, there's White Station by now. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff here at White Station. There's a lot of stuff in White Station right now, which is very good news for me. So, possibly, I don't know whether enough's fallen through yet, but as we've established, stuff is falling through. We now know stuff towards the edge of the cycle does fall through on a regular basis, and for some reason you can't lock onto White Hole. I'm not sure why you can't lock onto White Hole, but I'm going to use that to. I'm going to use the nearby comet just to actually slow everything down. Just check on what the state of the sun is, by the way. Where's Sam? That's the sun. That's the sun. The sun's around here somewhere. The sun is totally around here. Uh, yeah, it's turned out to oh, it's very red. Yeah, we're, we're close to the... We're, we're getting towards the edge of the cycle right now. All right, uh, cool. Shout out to Yashimoti, who gave us $10 and says, John, rocks don't me melt. Ice does. The ice was between the rocks. You were on a rock. The ice between the rocks on the Sunwood side did recede, you just never looked at it. The chat is saying basically like, as you're standing on a rock, if you are looking, you if you're looking and listening for it, you can see the you can see the ice melting, you can hear you can hear cracks, you can hear water, and basically you're trying to go to the center of the rock planet. You're trying to go to the center of the asteroid. So Okay. That's why you have to stand on that ice. Now, the problem we've got here is everything goes a bit wibbly around the white hole. And I don't know whether the right tower's fallen through it. Like, a bunch of stuff has fallen through. I don't see a tower that would logically correspond to what I want yet. Yeah. That's the... Oh, hang on. Yes, I do. Claire, I do. Look, that's mm. it. Because there's the quantum rock. Yeah. There's quantum rock, friends. So just bring her in. And I have to agree with Zycoria. It seems reasonable to miss the time-based puzzles the first time you do them or even the second time you do them. I think everybody is really... Everybody who's already played this game is getting a little bit too frustrated with the fact that it is taking you a little while. And when you're getting it, everybody's okay, like, on. how come it's on the first go? Hang yeah. on. Okay, now I know where I am now, except now there's no gravity at all. So I now need to retrace my steps, but... Oh, blimey, but with no gravity to help me out here. Uh, which is uh, which is problematic. Uh, it's, 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 it's... Roll. No. Hold that. No, hold. Hold it'll be in. Aha, that's how you roll. Okay. Down here. Yeah, okay. And just, I'm going to try and go a bit slow. Okay, down, 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 down. I really hope the universe doesn't explode before I can get here, by the way. And slow down. And down. Okay, now use this to take me down. This will take me to where I want to, where I want to, wait, what? Okay, or it won't. We'll just go down by by manually. That's fine. Uh, bring her around. And now, now I can get up here. Okay, up, 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 up. Now slow, so I don't slam my head into the ceiling. Okay, forward. Slam my head a bit, but not much. Now, I just need to check what I do and don't need to see here. So down on the ground, and there's no... Ooh, Okay, there's... Where's the thing? And... No, put you away. Round. Okay. Velocity matched. Down. Down, 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 down. So where are the plates that need to be slapped onto here? I don't know. Alright, so I don't see... I don't see them. They're normally left on tables. Further up. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, right down over here. I see something glowing over there. And match velocity. Use the match velocity function. It's very useful. Okay, now there's a... That's a scroll, isn't it? Yes, pick up scroll. And... Yeah, the problem is this, this entire structure is rotating and spinning and whatnot, which is not very useful. And then is there more? Okay, there's more even further up. I don't see where I plug this in. Emergency scout recall. Right, okay. A little bit further up. And then up to the top floor over here. Okay. Data. This is good. And, okay. Right, 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 right. We got it. So, we go right up to the top here. Stop. And stop. Shove you in there. Right, well, that's just loading up. Go over here. 
and stop, down, and rotate. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giants Deep and ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. Uh, on your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many of our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aiding your pilgrimage by the Shrine or Clan built of the Quantum Moon, but remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the Shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the sixth rule. Be cautious on your journey. So we've got, we can't just make it to the moon. We also have to ensure that until it's settled on the North Pole, it, we don't do anything. So, yeah. okay, that's that's actually incredibly useful. We've actually got the information we needed there. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to settle on this deep significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after yeah, those who after the crash that brought us to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no connect communication with these two groups of survivors. Yeah, we've seen the lifeboat, so yeah, that's what was going on. So I was, no, I was not wrong. There was indeed a crash, and they they only stayed because they discovered the egg of the universe. These Nomai looked upwards from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. And after the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. And this took time. Many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity with you. Well, we're about to die, but I think we've actually discovered what we need to discover. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. And yeah, this building also tells you where the moon is. So I'm guessing that, yeah, this is actually a very useful way of just checking where the moon is, if you need to know. By the way, the universe is about to explode. I think I can hear the universe exploding. Yeah, the, the sun's... I, there's definitely some... Actually, that's the white hole. It always looks like that. But I swear I just heard the exploding sun anyway. So, actually, the nice thing is... Oh, and it just moved. You just literally sort of move there. So, actually, you can check where its current location is. But, honestly, by the time you, you, you check this and then move to wherever its current location is, logically, you... It would have moved anyway. So, it's probably best just to do cycles and you will catch it sooner or later. By the way, here comes the explosion. How many times have I actually even made it to the end of the cycle rather than incompetence killing me? Because I swear I've, I've managed I'm to... I'm not sure. I swear it's, like, it's, at least thinking... 80, it's at least 80% it's at self, self-murder self rather than yeah. um, rather than surviving 20 minutes. Well, people can let us know. I don't know if people have been taking notes, but uh, shout out to Paper Crane who gave us $20 and says, John, ignore chat. You can learn everything on your own from exploring more. It's not about immediate context in this game. It's about how scattered clues eventually come together. It's more like archaeology, not Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. I feel like that last comment is a bit salty given what you your field of study was, but sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, anyway. back to the computer. Back to the computer here. Let's 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 make notes of what we do and don't know for um, the time being. Jacob says, uh, I think this is only the third full cycle. Interesting. That sounds about right. Yes. So we've, we've got the we've got the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We've gone to the Quantum Shrine. We know how to get to the Quantum Moon. And we know about the sixth location. It's the North Pole. So we don't just need to go to the North Pole. We need to chase the tower to the North Pole. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. So we're kind of... We're broadly in the right sort of ballpark. I'm just going to see if we can just... If we just happen to be able to find the moon now. And then take a photo of it before it screws me over again. That would be great. So just do a couple of... Just head in. Try and look for a little grey moon. Because so if I can just, like, see multiple planets simultaneously, that would be great. That's the Atle Rock over there, isn't it? Yes, that's the Atle Rock. So that's not it. Uh, you are Hollow Lantern. So that's not it either. That's Ash Twin. Over there, that's the Atle Rock again. It's not currently floating around you guys. No, it has to be somewhere. It can't be. Aha. I see ya. It's once again over there. Okay, we got her. We got her, we got her, we got her, we got her, we got her. So now just keep an eye on it. 
and yeah, get a photo, and don't use the cocking landing camera, because apparently the landing camera will screw you over. Uh, so yeah, now just start, now just start matching speed, start matching speed, start matching speed. Oh, we're, we're, we're not going to do, we're not going to match speed of time, but just keep the camera on it, keep the camera on it, keep the camera on it. Don't, you're not getting away from me, you're not getting away from me. Now we're coming up behind it, so it'll be easier to not accidentally overshoot. Watch it, flipping, watch it. Alright, five kilometers and now starting to gain. Alright, and if we can... Equip the scout launcher and try and get a photo of it. I mean, that's it they're right there, isn't it? That's... Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. There we go. We got you. We got you. That's definitely it. That's definitely it. Right there. Okay? We got a photo of the bastard. Alright, don't you pretend we don't. So now we can just gently go in. Gently go in, because we got a photo of her. Okay. Just in we go. We go, oh! Okay, and there's, oh, there's... We just accidentally found a corpse there. I think we... Right. That's... Is it an old... No, it's not an old version of you, because it's a tiny one, I mean, it's... Um... I'm feeling like this is not actually the quantum moon. Is it not? Well, it looks a lot like the, um... It looks like an actual moon of what's it called? Um, you know, an actual moon of the um, the the the, the bramble whatever it is. Now, actually, no, I am on the South Pole. It's just it doesn't look anything like it did last time I was here. Okay, I mean, there's also a corpse here, which is good, I, I guess. Um, do we know who this is? Okay, just yeah. Call, recall my scout. Who are you? Well, he's got no anything. I can't scan him for anything. So okay, right. I need to go to the north and then lock. I need to get the tower to spawn there. And I feel like I'm on. Let me check the map here. Unable to pinpoint location. Right. That would suggest this is the quantum moon. Except it's. This does not look anything like the quantum moon did. But then I guess kind of it's whole point is it can just do whatever the hell it feels like. Um, okay. Mm. Uh, Banius points out that uh, if you are already moving forward in zero-g, you don't need to keep boosting because you've got that forward momentum. True, true, um, true, true. I think you kind of get yourself in a bit of trouble doing that and trying to go too fast. Okay, so I've got one of the towers here, but that's not the tower I want. So, okay, we've got it confirmed. This is as it should be. But I need the tower to join me at the North Pole. Okay, so quantum... Uh, so, Sir Roderick points out that because it's a quantum moon, it's got different environments for different planets. I don't know if it's, like, an actual explanation in-game or a joke, but I like it either way, so I'm saying it. Uh oh. Oh fuck, I went too high. Oh honey no. Wait, am I? No, no I didn't. It's it's still there. I just What? I think it's position reset. That's... Take a picture of it? I'm just gonna keep looking at it. Just... Oh. Take a picture of it, John. I'm trying I I I I'm a bit busy. I'm a bit busy right now. Oh, okay, I'm a bit Match speed! Match speed! Keep looking! I'm, I don't even just on my own right now. God! I'm being. I'm, I'm having my gravity thrown off. I went slightly too high. I went slightly too high. It's a kilometre away right now. Fuel is, is, is a problem. I need to match speed, then I just need to drift into it. Okay, now I just need to drift into it. Okay. This is Claire, all yours while we just drifted. I was trying to get to the North Pole! I, know, I tried to get I to know. the North Pole. I know. Anyway, uh, shout out to Alana, who uh, is asking in the chat the important questions, such as, John, who was the better poet, Ovid or Virgil? Uh, ooh, I... Uh-oh, I think we're coming in a bit faster. We might be 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 coming in a bit faster. Might be coming in... Ah! I'm not dead. It's fine. Ow. I'm fine. Everything's under control. Right, now we're here... Um, 
I think, such a hard question. I think I probably enjoy some of the individual poems of Ovid more than, say, the Eclogues, for example. But the Aeneid is probably the superior work. Fair enough. Um, okay, this one might hurt your feelings, and I'm sorry about that. Uh huh. Um, but uh, Thomas says, I have a classics teacher at my uni who hasn't heard of Aristophanes. What? Thoughts. Haven't heard of Aristophanes. I know, right? It's How? so weird. I mean, I, I guess know. maybe if you're like purely like Latin focused, but that's still weird. Okay, I'm worried that that little wibbly line above that means if I go above that line, that's that's it. You you you're officially not on the planet anymore. But that's where the North Pole is. So how do I how do I get to the North Pole if it's not up? Unless I have to unless I have to like go down. And like find my way into the North Pole isn't like. Do you have to go? Is it is it another planet where you have to go in the core of it? I mean, well, no. The, the game's very clear. The Quantum Moon. You you go to the the tower must be at the North Pole. But I feel like I can't make it to the North Pole because that's the limit. Where if you go it, you're just flung into space. Mm. Well, someone in chat says. Um, that there is another lesson you need to learn before you can reasonably find a tower at the North Pole. Oh, here we go with the quantum entitlement again. Well, yeah, I think if you haven't learned quantum entanglement... Oh, so we... You haven't learned quantum entanglement in the game, but you said quantum entanglement is if you have two objects that are quantum entangled... Yes. They'll react simultaneously like yes. if you poke one of them that's quantum entangled at the same time the other one will feel the poke yes so maybe you have to find whatever is quantum entangled with the north pole tower and i like mean get logically it. and then it's like portal i mean i guess it's it's definitely a bit of an odd thing because yeah there's there's no i don't see a way in and i don't see a way around and if i go if i go up at all then i i'm technically just flung off the planet yeah i've done a full i've done a full circuit here this is this is a bit of an odd one much of like this is just a really difficult planet to but yeah that's that's the cloud line right there if i go north of that yeah, I'm people technically... are, they're definitely saying don't go to high um hmm and there's the tower right there I mean, it's 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 closish to the North Pole, but let's just revisit our our little tower friend here. Hello, are you exactly the same? Yes, you are now outside Brambley thing. That's absolutely fine. And then same as before. So recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of quantum imaging. No, you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. You have recalled. And then recall as an order. Although the rule of the... So yeah, that's not true until it's at the learned. North Pole. But I can't get it to the North Pole until presumably I do whatever this is. And I'm guessing that this is going to... The rule of quantum entanglement is going to be on Ash Twin, where the other location is. Because yeah. that's the only other main base we haven't been to yet. I mean, people are definitely saying that you should... Um, well, first of all, people are saying, obviously, the actual physics yeah. is different from... Don't look at the chat. I can mm -hmm. see you there. I keep an eye on it to make sure people aren't being useful. Mm. It's my job. No, it's my job. Mm-hmm. Whee! Hello. I'm up top in the tower. That's nice. Anyway, people are saying that... The rule of quantum entanglement, whether it works like you described it or like I just described it in actual physics, yeah. whatever, but that's not how it works in this game. Yeah. And you need to um, yeah. learn more information. I mean, I think what, we, what we've what we come to the conclusion is, like, we we do know what the, the sixth rule is, or the rule of the sixth location. We have seen it, we just cannot enact it mm -hmm. until such time as we learn the rule of quantum entanglement. Now, that drawing would presumably be quite useful for figuring out where we're supposed to go next. Because that's, you know, this is where you learn the rule of thingy. Mm -hmm. Now, that, if anything, makes me think of brittle 
Brittle Rock. Yeah, Brittle Rock, I went there and that told me about the rule of the sixth location, uh, not the rule of quantum entanglement. But as, as you know, as, as it was saying, obviously, oh. this tower did very clearly say when we went to the tower and learnt the sixth rule, hey, we landed in two places. Okay, we so landed I need on... to make a correction. Yes. Uh, Ray points out that the text doesn't change based on what you've done in the game. It is saying you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging because that's the rule you need to know to yeah. even land on this moon at all. Yeah. Um, and this bloody shuttle's back. It completely screws you over. This shuttle can screw up stuff. It, but I guess it's a way off. I guess the, what, the reason it exists is because it's a way of basically getting off the planet if you want to just, if you, if you realize I can't do anything right now, I need to learn more. So that's yeah, kind of nice. Yeah, the thing is, like, people are telling me in the chat literally stuff you have to do to advance. Like, oh, if John did this and that, it would do something. But agree with Sorrow. Like, you need to leave and learn the entanglement rule in this game because you'll be way happier if you figure it out yourself. And now I assume I've been teleported back to Brittle Rock because that's where I went last time. Yeah, and shout out also to Sorrow who I uh, just wanted to pass their thanks to uh you and to myself i know i can be i know it can be a little frustrating but i love that you're playing outer wilds more for us yes so is one of the people that knows the game and has yes. been a little bit like oh my god no <laughs> so there you go uh and shout out to uh shatara who says following john's tweets this week can we expect a video on greek mythology the tweets were wonderful. The video on history was wonderful. More, please. I, I definitely think, I especially it. ahead of the release of uh, the Total War game, there is a very good chance we'll do something else. I don't know precisely what or when, but uh, that feels likely. Oh, you could do something that's like um, characters that should be heroes in it, and then mm -hmm. see if like they're using the same people. There's, I'm hearing a lot of rumours that it's looking like Agamemnon, Menelaus, uh, Achilles, and Odysseus, and I'm going to be so angry if my boy Ajax and Diomedes get bloody d denied. Uh, right. Well, you know. So this projects me too, by the way. I just want you to know, by the way, all of you, the, the level uh, the level of nerdiness of John is that he literally owns a mug that says Agamemnon did nothing wrong. No, it d no, you've just got the message precisely opposite. Yeah, well, what was it? It says Agamemnon should have apologised. It's a mug that clarifies Agamemnon did everything wrong. Oh, yeah. You've got it completely backwards. You could not have got that mug more wrong. Oh, uh, well, yeah, whatever. I don't... Oh. I don't care about what Agamemnon did, I'm sorry. Agamemnon should have apologised is what the mug says. Wait, for the murder? Hmm? No, for... Wait, what murder? Did he murder... You mean did he murder Agamemnon's you... boyfriend? Did Agamemnon kill Patroclus? I don't Claire, know. Claire, I want you to give... Okay, I want you to give us... I want you to give us now, in a few minutes, what, what your summary of what you think the plot of the Iliad is. Go! Well, some men were being dicks to the women and, like, abducted one of them. And then they kept, like, killing each other. And then they kept blaming the women and then, like, smashed the patriarchy. No, I want you to specifically tell me what you think characters, the key characters of the, uh, the Iliad do. Given you apparently think that Agamemnon killed Patroclus. <laughs> well, Odysseus... Did the bah! thing. No, he didn't. He's basically not in it. He gives what he, well, he, he gives. He gives a good speech in book nine. Book ten isn't even the original Iliad. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Paris does the kidnapping. Yeah. We don't like him. We never like Paris. We don't like any type of Paris. Okay. Paris is a shit in Romeo and Juliet. Paris yeah. is a shit in the Iliad. Paris is a shitty city. Yeah. Um... Okay, yeah. Then something, 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 then a Trojan horse. Aphrodite. Is a name. Right. Is a Aphrodite name that exists. made Paris pick between goddesses who was the hardest, and then, like, he got in trouble. Technically, Aphrodite didn't come up with the idea. She just won, but okay. Sure. 
isn't she the goddess of being hot? So it feels a little bit unfair that, you know, mm -hmm. it feels a little bit unfair that a water murder like millions, well, not millions, because that's not how the ancient world works, but whatever. Yeah. Um, well, there's also these. Is, well, there was Greece and Troy. She's different. Ty there's different types of hot. She's she's the goddess of like you know more towards lust and sexual desire and that sort of space. <laughs> Bear in mind, of course, Athena is also a pin Athena Parthenon and Parthenos. She's she, she is the maiden. So you know she she's got she's got the kind of the the quiet virginal librarian thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see. And, you know, Hera's all about the power. She's super powerful, so some people are just into that. Psycho uh, <laughs> Girl wants to know, where did you even get that mug, John? Uh, That's... Uh, Eleanor says, Claire's I went not too wrong. fast, by the way. Yeah, we know that. Um, Claire's not wrong. Claire just signed up for a long-ass lecture on history tonight. <laughs> Stop being so mean to Claire. Sounds accurate, Claire. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That about sums it up, Claire. John stop being a knob to Claire. Uh -huh. Oh no, is this John explains cars all over again? <laughs> John's being mean to Claire, someone called Tabby. Oh, uh, called Tabby the Union Rap. Yes, indeed. Uh, John seems to think the Iliad is common knowledge. Yeah, I want to point out I've actually never read the Iliad. <laughs> uh. Da, 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 da. Ask John to explain orbital mechanics. Ask John In to explain. In fairness to John, I can't do orbital mechanics either. Ask John to explain the plot of Les Miserables. I so mean, you're there's a <laughs> there is a heroic police officer oh, named Javert. A heroic police officer named Javert who just wants a cocky, super-powered criminal to stay under the terms of his probation. All right, that's Be all nice he wants. Be Claire. Encourage. Do not berate. Uh, uh. The geek cupboard points out that in the city uh, he grew up, uh, there was a terrible, terrible nightclub called Aphrodite. Sweet. Which is. Ah, uh, 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 uh. uh, good mm. stuff. I think we should probably. I think we've made some good discoveries today, but we should wrap up. I think we've made some excellent. Discover <clears throat> discoveries, in fact. I think we've done... we found some really, really fun stuff here. we found a lot of very, very fun stuff indeed. Including... Yes, there we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Ask John to explain the plot of the, um, of the American Revolution. That's going to be fun. The American Revolution. Oh, shit. He's put the controller down, people. <laughs> <laughs> so. What happened was, basically... Britain was being extremely reasonable, extremely reasonable. We, you know, we set up some, we set up some British colonies, and there were thirteen of them. <clears throat> and you know, generally, we just left them to, uh, to you know, pretty much get on with their own business for the most part. They were actually incredibly not taxed, all things considered. And then, and then, and then, and then, the French arrived. And the French, being history's monsters and villains, <laughs> naturally decided, Fuck you, England! We're going to destroy everything! Think... And the Americans in the 13 colonies were basically like, Oh shit, the French, please, please England, come and protect. And England's like, don't worry, guys, we got you. We would never, ever leave you to hang out to dry, alright? We will send the army right over there, alright? We will send the army over there. We've got this really awesome guy. His name's George Washington. We'll send him with them. All right. He's going to take care of it all for you. All right. We got this. We will take care of you. We're going to send loads of money. We'll hire some local tribes to help out. We know the French have hired some tribes too. But we'll hire our own tribes. It's going to be really expensive. But we are happy to do this. And we won't even ask for any money up front. All right. We're just going to do it for you because we love you. And they did. And they, they kicked the ass of the French. They kicked the ass of the French so hard that the French had to retreat all the way to Quebec. So you know it was pretty hard ass kicking because no, there's no other reason you'd end up in Quebec, to be honest. Um, so, you know, it was, it was pretty hard ass kicking. And the Americans were like, thank you. Thank you so much. And then Britain said, hey, um, this actually costs like even more than we thought. Which was spectacularly expensive. So, would you guys mind, like, paying, like, a small amount of tax? Like, nowhere near the cost of the war, but a small amount of, small amount of tax. 
At which point the Americans decided, actually, you know the French were just massive dicks? Maybe we should be massive dicks too. Maybe we should take advantage of England's generosity and, like, be alive because of England's troops and then not bother to contribute to the cost of the war in any way whatsoever and generally be dicks, be massive, massive dicks under all circumstances. And then, on top of that, we'll get George Washington to fight for us, despite the fact he, was even, he wasn't even originally on our side. And then, then, basically, they were dicks for a bit. And so there was a massive war between the Americans and the English. And the English were basically winning pretty much the whole thing. But, in the end, decided it was too expensive to bother continuing because we'd already spent so much money protecting you from the cocking French, who were also declaring war on us again and shipping money over to you guys. Yeah, the French were shipping money over to you guys. The guys who we just saved your lives from funded your stupid revolution. We like revolutions, what can I say? So as a result of that, England decided, all right, fine, you know what, we can't actually afford this because we spent too much money keeping you the cock alive. And then they said, you know what, you want America so much, you can cocking have it. We'll just help control 80% of the rest of the world. And that's how the American Revolution was won by a bunch of cowards. The end. I noticed how someone says this is basically correct. Yeah, one person said that. Yeah, I choose to I choose to basically follow that person. That's my version of the American Revolution as as it's taught in British schools. A shout out to Alana who gave us five pounds and says I am a halfway through my MA in classics, which is more than you have in classics. Claire is a hundred percent right about the Iliads. It was just a bunch of men blaming women for their actions. So nee. It was also a bunch of women blaming themselves for their actions. Yeah, well, internalized misogyny is a thing we all have to deal with, Jonathan. Hel Helen does just go around calling herself a bitch on a regular basis. But she kind of does it to... But like a basic bitch? Mm -hmm. Oh, is she like, can I have pumpkin spice, please? It's getting cold. No, she's just kind of wandering around like, she's like to, oh, I'm so glad you're fighting to protect like, to me. Bitch that I am, I do not deserve it. But also she's trying to fuck him at the same time. Helen's yeah, but that's the PR bag. she has to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Helen's a bit anyway, of a Anyway, shout bag. out to Urban Cohort who gave us two dollars and says John's biggest discovery today was F equal M A. Force acceleration and mass or something? Know, something like that. Something about and force shout acceleration out to some and other mass. Guy part two, electric boogaloo who gave us twenty dollars. Uh, Jessica Jessica? Jessica gave us two hundred Swedish krona. And says, so if the Greek goddesses were in a dating sim, Aphrodite would be the hot, floaty one, Athena would be the nerdy one, Artemis would be the tomboy, and Hera would be the no-nonsense student council president. I think I think Artemis would be the Yandera. No, Sundera. Sundera. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I got my things the wrong way around. Uh, da, 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 da. uh oh, burn! Sergeant Marcus says, uh, John's version of the American Revolution is almost as good as Claire's version of the Iliad. <laughs> oh, marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous. Anyway, um, yes. I'm guessing you are not quite caught up yet, or are you actually all caught no, up? No, I'm all you caught up. All up to date. You know how, like, that thing goes on, that thing happens where I'm good at my job? <laughs> also, like, I haven't even bothered going and finding the actual, like, Know My Ruins on Atle Rock yet. I think I might have been there. I, just, I, I think I didn't properly explore them. So it's like, there's, there's a lot of stuff that's actually very, very close by. Uh, so... <laughs> Yes. Uh, sorry, Urban Cohort says, yeah, force equal mass times acceleration. Basically, cr crashing into stuff at high speed is bad. That's the only thing. That you does about seem this whole, bad. Yes. This whole uh, that life. does seem bad. I think we've I think we've done a lot of discoveries today. It feels like yeah, we might be able to. We're making progress. We're making progress here. We're making progress. I would say. Good old oh, little planet that we live. I think. Well, I think we found a lot, and we figured out a lot. I mean, it feels like ultimately a lot of stuff is about sorting out those three rules, yeah. and we've got two, and we know two of them, even though we can't enact the second sure. until we figure out the quantum entanglement thing. And we've got a pretty solid idea of where logically we would want to go, 
to figure mm. that out, which is either fi- <clears throat> finally find that Southern Observatory, because we never actually went to the Southern Observatory, but I think the Southern Observatory was just about finding the quantum moon, but we already found it, and we know how to find it again, so... yeah. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Oren, who just gave us two dollars and says, John, please explain how the Americans ruined World War One By showing up late. <clears throat> Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, like they do to every world war, really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, any more from you, Claire? Uh, no, I think I'm, I'm. I think it's fine. Sorry, I'm just trying <clears throat> to skim as it's going. In which case, let's get some nice music. Let's get some nice music. We can get the nice music now. Yeah. We get the nice outer wild music. That's good. That's lovely. So yes, that's that's the outer wilds for now anyway. I suspect we might well see it again. Possibly we could even vote for like yeah at the stream today. Huh? We'll do a shorter stream today, Claire. We will do a shorter stream today. It's not even four hours long, you massive wuss. I mean, it is kind of four hours long if you count, like, setting up and breaking off. Well, you can make anything four hours long if you count things either side of it. Like, setting up and breaking off. Me eating a cookie takes four hours if I include two hours of setup cookie time and two hours of cookie appreciation afterwards. But it's not actually four hours, is it? Dear oh flipping dear. It's damn straight. No, you're just wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up late tonight on the main channel, we do indeed have an untitled goose game. There's yeah. a lot of honking. There's so much honking. And tomorrow, to be confirmed, there might be an extra bonus stream of some description. Keep your eye out for that. Claire won't be there for that. But uh, keep keep your eye out for that. There might be an extra little bonus stream tomorrow with someone else. At the bare minimum, I'll be guesting on somebody else's stream. I might stream it myself, depending on a couple of things. So uh, the, keep an eye on Twitter uh, for that anyway. The reason I didn't make an announce for it is because I don't know whether I'm going to stream it. Somebody is going to stream something. Uh, that I will be in uh, tomorrow evening. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Should be the usual time, 5pm. Uh, just for a couple of hours. So uh, keep an eye out for all of that business. That will be tomorrow. Mystery extra uh, extra stream there. Very fun little bonus stream. So yeah, that might get streamed or I might just be a guest. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Oh, and uh, thank you to Lanka for pointing out I forgot uh, to read out the second super chat. Which Honk. was... Uh, she gave us five euros, and they said, if you want an exploration puzzle game to stream, I'd recommend uh, Heaven's Vault, which you covered in a video. I did. Uh, spoiling obscure letters is a talent. Yeah. So there you I go. think that would, you see, the problem is, because that's literally a case of slowly figuring out what symbols represent, I think that would be the worst live stream sort of thing, because you people either know or they don't know. In which case, they either want you to figure it out or they want to tell you what it is. So I feel like that's like a that's a bad live stream game. I feel like that's yeah, not I a good live stream it's, game. It's, it's, it's interesting, like, what makes a good game for a video and what makes a good game for a live stream. Yes. And I feel like something like this, it's either... Something like this, because it's time-based, is almost not the greatest because you're rushing a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. You know? That's right. I think, I, think this, I think this works quite nicely, all things considered, for the most part. I don't know, Maybe Claire thought this just... was shit, clearly. Come on. I didn't say that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was literally going to say maybe it's not the game. Maybe it's just you being shill letting me speak. <laughs> what evs. Uh-huh. Goose game, coming up soon. Bonus stream, coming up tomorrow. All your usuals, coming up tomorrow as well. That doesn't replace anything. That's just on top of things. And a whole bunch of exciting, sexy stuff coming up next week, including something from 1993. 
an old game that we played last year has finally launched fully. We will be revisiting it and, of course, Hitman's brand new level, Last Resort. Great title for a holiday resort fun. They're yeah, so good at yeah, coming up with titles. Yeah. They're good at coming up with the title pads. All that coming up next week. So hopefully you join us for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. Hog! <laughs> I've been waiting the entire stream. <laughs> this <laughs> That's what This been this has been the egg of the universe. <laughs> the many a true egg. This has been the egg of the universe. Thank you very much and good night. You're supposed to say goodbye, oh, Claire. Good Fuck's sake.